Good evening. Good morning. How are we? How the hell are we? On time, as always. Good to see you. Good to see you. Let's have a little scrolly through the old chattings, shall we? Start at the top. Um... Da, 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 da. Jason Tornado, Carlotta, Kellis, Doc, what's up? There's lots of mentioning of late, I'm not sure what that's about. I uh, can't relate to that. Maple, did I say that already? Finn, what's up? Below the water line, hello. Uh, more mentioning of late, I don't know, I don't know what that's about. It must just be spam, you know, it must just be like the automated spam thing that, that YouTube has. Um. Who else we got in this bitch? Money. Noise. How you doing, Ben? What's up? Uh, where uh, was I? It just jumped randomly. Do 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 do. Megan, what's up? Uh, catching you live for the first time. Thank you very much for dropping in. Appreciate it. Beans for life. Exactly. 100% on board with that. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Tony, what's up? Good evening. Had a good day picking on the wife and father-in-law. Good stuff. Um, Carlotta's mentioning the word late again. Don't know why. Confused. Um, waves? Are you at the beach again? Are you fishing? Are you fishings? Well, how are we all? Let's swap you over to the live screen, shall we? There we go. Let's get some audio as well. Um, we're at station one. Cancel beans? Oh, cancel your face. I don't know what that means. Found a dead fish, though. Isn't that just fishing? The gaslighting is real? I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure what that means. Oh... Let me just say hello to this other firefighter who's here that I didn't know was going to be here. Hello? Hello? You hear me? I'll see your mouth moving, I just don't hear you. You're not hearing me? Oh, there we go. Hang I think it says this building. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I hope you are. I think there's a problem with that station since there. Too. Oh, there you go. Yeah, some of the interiors do that. Yeah, they mute. Um, I didn't even realize you were going to be up here. Yeah, I, I posted earlier I was going to be up here. Oh, I, I didn't see it. That's cool. Um, I was just going to run a rescue, so. I have a feeling we're, we're going to be pulled out throughout the whole state, but you know, it is. I was going to be down in Los Santos, but it seems everybody's up here, so. Yeah, there's uh, an event here in Polito. So oh, there is? Sorry, I was gonna be up here. Oh, you see, yeah, this is why I should check Discord. Yep. That and people have been wanting to be on the west side of the map, so I'm like, this is a good spot. Okay, cool. I mean, I'll have a look at that in a second. Is it easy to get to the city from here. Uh, was I it in get, community events? Of, uh, yeah, I should get rid of some of these fire trucks too. Uh, where are we? Great Ocean Highway, Chumash, Polito time. Nice. We're doing a little thing. Uh, cool. Let's have a look. 
He had to stuff his face with stupid beans. I actually ate earlier. I got, I woke up late, and then obviously we were gonna do LSPD for a few reasons. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yet, so. Yeah, I was gonna. I I couldn't decide whether to do fire EMS or dispatch. I figured it's Friday night. There'll be a dispatcher, right? Usually about now is when they come on. Yeah, so hopefully. Okay. I could always temporarily cover it if they don't. You could do dispatch and be rescued at the same time temporarily too i mean yeah others have done it see what happens so it's mainly like chumash and sort of route one and sort of paleo sort of shit from what i can yeah, see we're gonna get, yeah we're, we're also gonna get yeah and then we're gonna get called to sandy and we're also gonna get called to the city so it's, we're gonna be all over the place no matter where we would have parked tonight Okay, cool. Well, this is a pretty big station, so we might as well load it up. I've All I've spawned is a rescue with a stretcher in. I'm going to spawn the squad yeah, as well. Okay. Um, okay, you know, like the I'll EMS I'll... rescue truck. Yeah. And I'm going to spawn in the ladder then, since I can put, I can put it over. Cool. By the by the training area. Yeah, yeah. Just so well, we have it. Just chuck it, even just chuck it there. That should be all right. True. Um, yeah, well, that's, we don't need that's cool. I don't know if we should get the brush truck, just park it at back. I mean, too, at I this know. point, this, this is like one of the biggest stations. We might as well just get everything. Why this not? one in uh, Rockford is the biggest. Yeah, Rockford Rockford's two, pretty big. Eight, two sides, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So, um, I don't think we've, uh, we've never done a stream from station one. This is station one. You got the double garage thingy. So we've got our Chevy Ambo with the tractor in the back. We've got engine one. He's getting ladder one ready. We're gonna get brush one uh, ready as well. And we're gonna man the entire station. Basically, uh, the general consensus discord is everybody is bored of the usual area. So we wanna try some different areas. So this is Chumash this area here this whole route one area so there's going to be a lot of activity around here around route one which is up here although i wonder if the bridge still crashes you the the, the tunnel still crashes you well that'll be interesting to find out later uh, and palito as well so that'd be cool um do, 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 do. Cancel my face. <laughs> Wife is drinking rum and telling stories about London in the early 80s. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'd be interested to hear him. I'm already four drinks in due to gaslight. I'm not surviving. <laughs> this was your idea. <laughs> Cancel beans. How dare you? I will ban every single one of you. I don't care if I have no viewers left. Worth it. Rocket, what's up? How you doing? Vote beans. Do, 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 do. Can't open my jar of pickles. Oh, do you even lift, Caitlin? Do you even lift? Do, do, do. We'll do a little station tour in a second. Doing a bit of everything, yeah. Do, 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 do. Chris, what's up? Christopher, Chris, whatever. Ever heard of an alarm clock? Yeah, I set the alarm clock and then I woke up and then I fell asleep again. There's been no how to ban people. Watch this. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. Brady, what's up? I left my dog. That's right. That's fair. That's fair. Dustin, hello. How are we? Uh, yeah, so this is Chevy. <laughs> Did he just punch someone? <laughs> we've got the ladder truck and we've got the brush truck. Uh, I need to spawn the...
Uh, where are we? The squad. That's the Santos one. Don't worry about the flashy red things. So, we've got everything in. We've got a squad truck, which is basically, for those Europeans out there, it's basically a heavy rescue fire engine. So instead of having water in the back, it's got room for more heavy lifting equipment and rescue equipment. Ladder truck, it's got a ladder, brush truck, it does brush stuff. Ambulance does ambulance things, fire truck does fire truck things. There you go. Do, 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 do. I'm doing good, Dustin. Thanks for asking. We are just chilling. A great story as my spawn was Jamaican. Oh damn, okay. No wonder she drinks rum. Been playing for 12 hours now, it's getting good. Oh, good. Don't worry about the fire fire in the background killing people, that's fine. Chris, what's up? Are you a trained paramedic IRL or cause it seems like you know stuff? I'm not a paramedic, I'm a dispatcher. Uh, for EMS I have an interest in paramedicine plus I deal with a lot of medical shit every day so you pick up a lot of stuff um, London was very different in the 80s yeah I mean what's up how you doing Uh, expert friends cooking and I'm uh, uh, drinking and I'm cooking watching you. It's like you got the short end of the straw there, uh, Tony. <laughs> I love that there's just a lot of expats just drinking rub. Talk about London. <laughs> the rescue truck. Yeah, it depends where you are. Some places call them rescues. But in our area, rescues are ambulances. Our area in our in our community of rescues or ambulances. Have you got a medic bike? No, I don't think they really exist in the US. Right? They they rarely they uh, barely have uh, like rapid response cars, let alone uh, bikes. They just got a new ladder truck and heavy rescue. Nice. Didn't pass the psych test to become a paramedic. That I mean, do you want to know what's weird? In the UK, there is no psych test. <laughs> you, as long as you pass the, the interview and you don't come across as a mentalist, then there is no psych. That maybe says a lot, actually. Yeah, I mean, that's true, Tony. That is true. Uh, right, so we're doing a little station tour. Yeah, so we were meant to be doing NSPD. A few reasons not. We're not doing that tonight. Including the fact that nobody's in the city. So it'd be a bit pointless. Um, and we did CCSO last night, so. So, engine rescue, 
uh, squad truck. I don't know what's going on with them guys. I don't know either. Okay, yeah, you, you got it. You gentlemen good? Can we help you with anything? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm... Look, uh, you're alright, so you don't need, don't need medical or anything? No, 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 I'm, I'm okay. okay. Um, just checking because you pulled into the station, so... Yeah, no, no, I, I'm sorry. What, what's that name on your, your jacket? Oh, it's uh, A. O'Neill. A. O'Neill. Oh, yeah. What's your first name, Mr. O'Neill? Uh, Adam. Adam. Ah, shit, Adam. Sorry, man. You've been served. What? What do you mean? You're being. You've been served. Served this what? Court ordered paperwork for a, a court ordered paternity test. But what? Yeah, it's court what do you test. mean? Uh, sorry, Adam. Adam O'Neill, firefighter. That's that's what I've got right here. Blaine County fire. Uh, uh fire arresting? Yeah. Tony? Yeah. I didn't. I haven't. Hey, look, 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 man. Hey, you don't have to explain to me, man. I get it. You know, just should have wrapped it up, and you shouldn't have dished her. You know, should've kept tabs on her. I'm wrap. I, I tell you, I'm wrapping up, man. I, uh, okay. Let's have a look at this paperwork, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take a look. Let's see. A O'Neill. Yeah. Right? Oh shit, that's me. Yeah. One night. Yeah. Yeah, that's you. Uh. Okay. So. That's just a quarter of paperwork, okay? Yeah. Uh, you gotta do a quarter of paternity test. Um, I don't know the details, man. I'm just, I got hired. I, I'll, truthfully, I'm doing community service right now. Yeah. I got caught with uh, about two pounds of, uh, of crab in my pants at a Walmart. Uh, uh, and I got, I got sent to do community service to, uh, to Wait, to you were stealing the crab? Yeah, I was, I was stealing crab. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll answer a question for you. If I run away right now, does that change? No, that, no, no, okay. no. I just need you to take this paperwork, and then there's a phone number on there for the law office that's uh, that's in charge, like you know, behind the whole thing, and you can call them and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Does he? Who's the uh, like the other party? Does it? Does it say? I uh, I don't know, man. Like, like I'm I'm just telling you right now, man. I'm I don't know. No, I just am serving paperwork. Fine. No, I get you. I get you. Um. Yeah. Alright, I'll take it. No worries. Yeah. Alright, sounds good. Hey, can you sign that for me so I you know, I can show that you took that? Just need a tent, sign that, I'll take the carbon copy. Uh this one? Yeah. Alright. Uh Alright, perfect. Okay, I uh, I mean I guess thank you. Yeah, yeah, you got it, man. Hey, look man, I'm just gonna tell you right now, dude. Yeah. If you just wrapped it up or I, you I know. tell you what I do wrap it up if I don't know them. Well, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know, but we're in this situation because of you, and because what? I stole some crab legs. Well, oh, crab legs specifically. It was yeah. Crab's it was good, crab man. legs. It, 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 it is pretty good. I was pretty excited. I didn't have the money. Okay, and I. And I then was they were like, "Excuse me, sir, what's that smell?" They were asking what was in my pants, yeah. and I was snarky, and then it was a whole thing. Damn. All right, anyway. I mean, yeah, cool. I guess that's why you we were you here for that or was I here it, it, for me? What do you mean? Like you, you yeah. just pulled yeah. in. Oh, yeah, you I were just being you. sneaky about it. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out. I'm like you. How dare you? I'm in the I'm in a emotional fight for my life here, and hey. you're making jokes. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sorry. That was that was it was that was uncalled for. I apologize. Unbelievable! All right, get out I'm, of here. I, I get I'm sorry, get, Mr. O'Neill. Go. You have a good day. Wrap it up. I need to put the doors on this thing. Microphone. Just realised that my team speak was muted. <laughs> what the fuck? I've got caught on a fatality test. Where'd the engine go? Engine one from rescue one. I had my radio turned off. Uh, have you been dispatched to something? 
Yeah, uh, fire flywheel. All right, Devil. Let me know if you want me to bring a, another truck or anything or an ambulance. Yeah, the fire's out. Devil. <laughs> Why am I going for Teddy? G do reads documents regarding court order at Polito Vice Station. Oh dear. He's not a paramedic, he just says a bunch of numbers to sound smart. <laughs> I think most of the numbers make sense. I don't just make shit up. Ever thought about joining a UK server? Yeah, I was going to do it once, but it never happened. And honestly, that half the fun for me of OCRP is that it's not the UK. Like when I dispatch, you know, CRP, A, it's mainly Leo, and B, it's like US stuff. So that's half the fun of it. If I was just to go into a UK server and dispatch, that would literally be my job. Virtually. Like... I'm all right. I'm all right. Faded, what's up? Uh, not this shit. Oh, did you see this coming? Matt got careless prego. <laughs> Just delivered some grilled tomatoes, mozzarella and olive oil to the wife. While she's drinking rum, she's not an alcoholic. I 100% agree. I'm on board. I can relate completely. <laughs> Care to explain? I don't know, Ben. <laughs> oh, God, the child support. He did not... <laughs> Yeah, my radio is genuinely old. I've done that before as well. 999 mode activated. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right. What was I going to do before I was so rudely interrupted by court ordered paper? Paperwork is legitimate. Phone number for law office is 160. Morgathan and Morgathan and Morgathan. <laughs> I'm going to have to call that number in a sec. Uh, right, let's go through the station, shall we? Before, um... We do anything else so we've got all our trucks ready the engine is out on a fire at flywheels this is blaine county station one. Oh, oh i'm not in the cad fucking rookie honestly absolute penis ah uh, active units minimize pin Uh, I'm, I'm still in air one, so I need to leave the air one group. I need to add to group, new group, rescue squad two. Not two, one. And I'm just doing the stuff I should have done before I got in. You know how it goes. Right. Station one. Yeah, it does sound good, Finn. I agree. Tony you strikes me as someone who can cook. HGFD Sean, what's up? How you doing? Oh, he's done it before? <laughs> God. Why does Brain Cup always have the best RP scenarios? Honestly, I don't know. It's it's crazy. 
I feel like I say this every single time he I even see him on server, but he is one of, if not my favorite person to roleplay with as a Civ. As him, with him being a Civ. Uh, right. The weird thing I find about Station 1 is the flooring. Like, what's up with this, like, wooden floor? It looks like a, a village hall. Anyway. So we've got a sexy little reception with the weird chairs. And some buy fruit computers. Vending machines. So, I mean, it's pretty legit for a fire station. Office. Office and a sofa and a casting couch. Can't say that. It's old 60s America. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, there's an upstairs somewhere. I just can't remember how you get to it. I think there's stairs at the back. Yeah, here we go. So that tower, I think that's in the base game, but there's a little tower thing you can climb up. There's working cameras. What's back here? Oh, that's just the window for the place we were just in. There you go. Coffee machine and another office. Almost a little bit dispatch center like, just not enough screens. And there's nothing on the wall. Um, and I think that's it. Little balcony. There's a ladder. Which goes to nowhere. Oh, there's another ladder. Okay. Nope, nope. There you go. That's our sexy ass squad truck. Or heavy rescue or rescue truck or whatever you want to call it. Some dead firefighters, don't worry about them. They don't do anything anyway, they're just sleeping. Mm -hmm -hmm. So, yeah, this is rescue, but it's EMS. Like, this has no firefighting capability other than fire extinction. Um, if I go ahead and go into MISC and developer tools, and if I clear area... Will that get rid of the dead firefighters? It will. To get rid of anything else? No, not a Maybe I'll park the ambulance in front and then put the rescue truck in here. We take nap. Oh, actually, we need to call Morgathan and Morgathan and Morgathan and Morgathan. Let's take a seat. Oh, okay. That'll do. That'll work. Cork floors. Very 50s airport terminal in South Florida. Nice. Oh, well, let me just grab a drink and then we'll call more than more than. How's everybody doing this Friday? Any plans for the weekend? Anybody going to be watching the Grand Prix? Don't be silly. Wrap your willy. 
<laughs> Joke, are, are you fucking kidding me? I hope you're joking. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> you can't say that in reply to. Is anybody excited for the weekend? See how much money they want? Yeah. You going on another trip? Do you ever just stay at home, Carlotta? This is fucked up, man. I wonder if you can sit in these seats. No seats were found. Guess we'll go for the couch. It's just a day trip in France. Sixty. Thank you for calling the law offices of Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan. Listen very carefully as our options have recently changed. The law offices of Morgan, dial one. For Morgan, dial two. The officer Morgan, dial three. The officer Morgan, dial four. The officer Morgan, dial five. Officer Morgan, dial six. Or wait on the line. You call the answer. The order was received. Uh, I don't know. It was. It was more. We didn't catch that. It was free Morgan. Okay. For calling human. The officer Morgan and 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 Morgan. So very carefully, as our options have recently Look, changed. It's Morgan or Morgan or Morgan. The officer Morgan, dial one. Morgan, dial two. Officer Morgan, three. Officer Morgan, dial four. Officer Morgan, dial five. Officer Morgan, dial six. Or simply wait on the line, and your your call will be answered in the order it's received. Oh. God damn, I will wait on the line again. At range. Thank you for calling, Officer Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan. Please wait on the line. It's all. I'm, on, up your I'm on hold right now. I'm sorry, we didn't catch that. No, I'm not talking You're, to you. Oh, we, oh, we didn't catch that. <sighs> God. And someone will answer your phone call and the order was received. <laughs> what is this? What is he doing with his hand? Hello? Oh. What is he doing with his hand? Hi, thank you for calling offices of Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan. Nancy, how may I assist you? Hi, Nancy. Um, my name is uh, Mr. O'Neill. Um, I'm calling you in relation to some paperwork I've been served. Certainly, Mr. O'Neill. I would be more than happy to help you. Uh, thank uh, can you. you please give me the four digit code at the top of your paperwork? Oh, shit. Hang on. Whereabouts on the paperwork? I'm looking at the paperwork now. Whereabouts is it? It's me the top right corner, Mr. Uh, O'Neill. Uh, two nine four four. Two what? Two nine four four. Two nine. Okay, so nine nine four four. No, 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 no. Start again. Two nine. Two nines. Four. No, 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 no. Two. Okay. Then nine. Two. Okay, two nines. No, no, nine, no, 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 no. Start again. So just, just the okay. number two. Okay, n number two. And then nine. Nine. 
and then four. Four? And then another four. Another four? Yep. So two, nine, four, four. Exactly. Exactly, Nancy. Okay. Give me a second here. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, it's going to take me a second to pull this up. Can you please hold? Yeah, no problem. Hey, sorry, I'm just on hold with a, a lawyer. I got served some paperwork. Okay. Yeah, oh, the offices of Morgathan, M. 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 Morgathan. For your call. It picked up and the order was received. Espanol. You're out of luck. Uh, I was talking to Nancy. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's the whole music again. God damn it. I got served paperwork for paternity test. Mr. O'Neill? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here. All right. Um, I pulled up your paperwork. It looks like you're being issued a uh, court order for paternity test. That's crazy. I haven't... Who's it? Who's the... The, the other party um it's gonna be a pseudonym for the name what what so you can't tell me the name i'm i'm sorry the court proceedings have a pseudonym for the name it's me a claire b yeah but that could be anything because you said it's a pseudonym correct but how am i meant to know who i'm potentially have a child with i'm sorry i'm not legally obliged to give out that information Okay. Um. What, what what can you give me, Nancy? Um, I can give you your uh, date and location for your paternity test. Uh, okay. So when, so there's already been a court date, and the courts agreed that I need to provide one. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. This is a, a court document. Uh, a court summons for a paternity test. Oh, God damn it, Nancy. Okay. Um. When when's the? God damn uh, it to me. Sorry. Who are you talking I, to? Okay? I was just, I was just generally exclaiming. You're some hot shot because you, because you knocked up someone and you left them. Whoa, Nancy, what's You're with some the hot shot? Nancy, what's with the drive by? God, what's with the drive by? I'm just trying to. Don't you goddamn it, me! I'm just generally exclaiming my surprise at the situation. I wasn't trying to target you, Nancy. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right. I, I accept your apology. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. What's the what's the date for the appointment? Um, your appointment is going to be um, September second at three thirty eight in the morning. What? That's that's in like what? For seven hours? Um, yeah. Oh, I couldn't have had any more notice about this. I'm working right now. I. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do. You can call and try to reschedule it, I guess. But that's on you. Uh, what's uh, where, Whereabouts is it? What's the, the company that's being used? Yeah, it's going to be uh, the paternity office of Greater Los Santos. It's in Los Santos? Essington or Greater Los Santos? Let me, let me pull up the address. Thank you. Two zero one Elgin Avenue in Los Santos. It's gonna be the Pillbox Hill Medical Center, uh, mm. level six, uh, next to the oncology department. Next to oncology, right? Okay. Oh. Oh, do you know if they're open right now? Can I call them to erect? Because I'm I'm working right now, Nancy. I'm a I'm a paramedic, so I can't just I, I, run I away. Don't, I don't know. Okay, my that's not my job. Okay. Do you have a phone number for them, Nancy? Do you want me to find a phone number for you? If, if you don't mind, that'd be that'd be great. Do, do, do I sound like your secretary? Okay. I mean, I'm just just asking for a fine, favor no, here. No, no, fine, fine. I'll I'll help you out. Right, thanks. I mean, I mean, I'm looking this off. Give me a second. No, thank you. I just want to been... say, I just I just need to say, as yeah. a paramedic, you really should know how babies are made. Okay, look. Enough not to just, you know, at least wrap it up. No, no, Nancy, I don't, 
oh, you obviously may know you probably know more than i do but i don't know who this is that's saying these things i if i don't know someone i'm wrapping up i don't know i don't know i just see the document okay <sighs> yeah i know okay um yeah you're gonna be able to call their number um it's gonna be it's gonna be one six zero Okay, do you know if they're open right now? I don't know. They might be. I don't know. Okay, I'll try. I'll try calling them in, in a few minutes. All right, anything, okay. anything else you've got you can give me at all, Nancy? Mm, I don't think so. All right, well, thanks for your help. You've been uh, unbelievably helpful throughout uh, this ordeal, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, please wait in the line after our call for a uh, five-minute survey. <laughs> thanks, Nancy. So much. <laughs> God damn it. No, right, we've got dispatchers now, so let me just check I'm set up in the CAD probably. So it's in fucking, what time did she say? 3 a, three something a.m. Which is obviously, what time is it? East Coast right now. Why is my phone making me type my password in again? Uh, 21.44. So it's actually like five, five, six hours. Also, why would the medical center be okay? Open at that time, whatever. I mean, the medical center would be, but not the company, surely. <laughs> Parrot Espinal, you're out of luck. <laughs> God, so good. Oh, uh, Nancy coming to a bear smoke. Yeah, Nancy's just absolute unbelievable. <laughs> Am I calling the right number? Reach the Paturi Center of Greater Los Santos. It's an emergency. Please hang up and dial 911. <laughs> Why would it be an emergency? <laughs> You've reached the Paturi Center of Greater Los Santos. Carefully, as our options have recently changed. As always. Please wait on the line, and someone will pick up your phone call, and the order is received. Our caller number is 17. Jesus Christ, it's, it's 10 o'clock at night. What is this whole music? It's a distant violin. Thank you for calling the law offices. What? <laughs> he fucked up. <laughs> he fucked up. <laughs> Hello? Uh, this Hello? This is your call back from the attorney center of Carlos Santos. Uh, my name is Chris. Uh, how may I help you? Oh, hi, Chris. Yeah, sorry. We got disconnected. I think there was some cross connections there. That um, sounds like it. I have an appointment booked for i think the woman said like 3 30 uh am uh, mr o'neill okay yeah sure um i've only just been made aware of the situation and this appointment in the last 30 minutes um, i'm currently working is there any way we can rearrange this uh you're ah uh, okay so you're you're working yeah i'm a paramedic up in palito bay can i i'm sorry i'm a little bit confused so are you worried about it not working or are you worried about like what what's what's the what's the issue right so i am currently working as a paramedic in palito bay i have an appointment for a paternity test at, at half free ah ah okay okay so why did you book the appointment i didn't book it it was booked by there's an ongoing court case and i've got to get a paternity test 
Ah, ah, ah. It's a okay. it's a long story gotcha. that I'm not really sure of the details on. I was just looking to see if I could yeah. rearrange it because I'm currently working. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, let me see here. Uh, when are you looking to rearrange it for? Uh, I mean, uh, I'm off tomorrow, so you got any availability tomorrow? Like during the during the day or during the afternoon? Tomorrow. Okay, let me see what we have. Uh, let's see, tomorrow, tomorrow is, uh, September 2nd, uh, mm -hmm. we have a slot at 3.30, uh, we have a slot at, uh, 4.45. In the morning or uh, in, the, in the afternoon? Uh, a.m. Oh, um, yeah, that's the one I already had. No, you uh, what's your name? Mr. O'Neill, I think she said it was either booked for free or 3.30. Uh, I see 3.45. Oh, okay, yeah, my bad. Yeah, it is. It is your bad, actually. That's why you're here. Um, anyway, um, let's see. Uh, we have... Saying? Okay, yeah. Anything in the afternoon there? Um, what did you say your name was? Oh, my name's Chris. Chris, yeah, Chris, sorry. Anything in the no afternoon worries. there, Chris? Uh, afternoon. Um, what time is most convenient for you? Literally anything Days after sort of midday. After midday. Um, how about uh, 9.45 at night? I mean, if that's all you've got, then, then yeah, that's that's fine. At least I'm not Fantastic. working then. I'll lock you in for 9:45 p.m. Perfect. Um, do Great. I need Wonderful. to bring anything with me? Um, no, we can we can take care of that here. You know, yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Uh... Ever done this before? No, never. Oh, okay. Sure. All right. Thanks, Dave. Whatever it was. Good, Chris. Chris. You're Chris, welcome. No yeah. worries. All right. Thanks, man. Have a wonderful, Bye. wonderful rest of your day, Mr. O'Neill. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> God damn it. Nine forty-five at night. Fuck's sake! The lawn chair simulator going on over here. Uh, I'm gonna take the rescue, get some fuel, get something to drink. And I'm gonna take the uh, rescue, get some gas, and get a coffee. Do you want anything? Nah, I'm good. All right. Let's book for free 45 so he offers you free 30 at 4 o'clock. I know. Son of a bitch, Chris. Those 17 calls, yeah. Where should we go to get some. Yes, go to the actual one that has the store at the end there. Do do do. Do do do. Can't actually go in that store. Discounts or else it's clothing, right? There we go. Oh, shit. Rescue one, can we have you be en route to postal 949 at Panorama Drive? going to be referenced at orange plow uh, accident with injuries drivers complaining of head injuries it's going to be 949 panorama drive central rescue one yeah it's all received copy direct uh, any information as if there's any entrapment not at this time i believe an officer's in the route to the area we'll receive thank you show me on route
I'd have to do a quick splash and dash. Oh, shit. This is not gone to plan. Where do I fill up? Okay, you know what? Good God. And rescue one. This could be verified on no entrapment. Verified no entrapment. Rescue one clear, thank you. Okay, we just have to do it the old fashioned way. Voice navigation is now on. Starting your route. Keep left. Continue straight. Take the exit. Continue straight. Yeah, splash and dash is how you got the papers served to you. <laughs> how dare you? This is still a sensitive subject. How dare you bring that up like this? Thinking the same thing. <laughs> Absolute children. I would never be so immature. Frames are awful. Oh, that's why. Fucking hell, what is that? A car show? That's awesome. But I have to stop by on the way back. In one tenth of a mile, keep right. Keep right. Continue straight. Turn right onto Route 68. Continue straight. Wait, that's a snowplow. Recalculating. When possible, make a legal U-turn. You have arrived. There it is. male Clyde uh, took an uh, unknown pill, told it was Tylenol, uh, mm -hmm. appears to have fallen asleep behind the wheel of the car. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. over here. Complaining of head injury. Um, I've just had him sit still. He's talking about being thirsty, but I've had him hold off drinking any, any liquids. Cool. He's awake and breathing and everything? 
Yeah, awake, conscious, breathing. Lovely. Answering questions, so. Cool, thanks. All right, Clyde, they're going to take you a look at you, all right? Okay, you want me to get out? Hey, Clyde, how you doing? Just hold off on getting out for a second. My name's Adam, one of the paramedics. Um. Okay. Just from, in your own words, what happened here? Uh, well, I was I was plowing. Uh, well, starting to practice for plowing season, and mm -hmm. uh, I was at the the shopping center down the street where yep. the, the animal store is, and a guy come up to me and asked me if I wanted to buy some Tylenol, so I did, and I took two of them, and next thing I knew, I was here. Okay, you maybe fell asleep, the uh, deputy said? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I heard him knocking on the door, and, and, and that's when I woke up. Okay. Um, so the deputy said you had some pain in your head, was that right? Yeah, I think I hit my head on on the, uh, on the steering wheel. Gotcha, okay. Um, before I get you out of the car, I need to try and check you for any spinal injury. You able just to open that door there for me so I can climb up? Uh, yeah. All right, perfect. And uh, what was your full name, sir? Uh, Clyde. Mm -hmm. Martin. Martin? Yeah. And uh, what's your date of birth, Clyde? Uh, uh, March the 24th of 1984. Perfect. Who's the president at the moment? I think it's that old guy. I forget his name, though. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that works. Um... What uh, what month is it right now? Uh, it's September because today starts plow practice season. Plow practice season, gotcha. Okay. All right, uh, Claude. What we do is I'm just going to reach up here. I want you to just keep your hands on the steering wheel like you are. Keep looking straight forward for me. I'm just going to okay. step up. I'm just going to reach behind uh, your head here. I'm going to just gently press at the base of your skull, so the base of your head, working my way down to the top of your uh, back here. I want you to tell me if you have any pain or discomfort as I'm doing this, all right? You should be able to feel my fingers, but you shouldn't have, uh, but you shouldn't be anything else, all right? So just let me know as I work my way down. All right, so I'm gonna start at the top here, Clyde. The base of your uh, head. Okay. Just gently pressing here, you feel my fingers there? Yeah, uh, yep. yeah, uh, yeah, that kind of okay. hurts a little bit. Okay, so going back up here, that, that hurts, does it? Yeah, but I usually have some back pain anyways. Would you normally be sensitive there on the... So this is your this is your C1, right? Right at the top here at the base of your head? Would you uh, normally have really. pain? No? Okay. No, not really. As I work my way down here, going from your head to your neck to your upper back, have you got any, any further tenderness? Uh, not really. Just kind of my neck a little bit. And Just at the top there? Yeah. All right, no worries. Any pain anywhere else other than your head? No, not really. Okay. Now, my arms hurt a little bit, but I may have, I may have hit my head on my hands. Okay, without removing the rest of your body, can you just wiggle both your feet for me? Just back and forth. Yeah, that looks yeah. good. Okay, perfect. Um, again, without moving the main part of your body, are you able to uh, extend your arms out fully and then bring them into your chest? Yeah, okay, perfect. Those are good. Good stuff. I'm just going to have a little look here. I'm just going to have a feel of your knee working up to your upper leg. All right, to see if there's any anything going on here. So just give me a second. Okay, perfect. All right, well, Clyde, the main issue at the moment is you, you generally you're looking good, so that's the good news, right? You've got no obvious fractures or anything anything like that. The only slight concern is that uh, C-spine tenderness, so your your neck pain. 
So we're gonna have to say, take some precautions for that, Rain. Okay. Um, you're not. There's nothing holding you in, so we're not gonna need to do any chopping up of your vehicle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a sea collar on you. Now we don't always use these, but because of the situation you're in, I'm gonna put one on. This is just gonna keep your head, keep you looking forward. Um, because also you've had some, you had Tylenol or something. Was that right? Or you you thought it was Tylenol? Yeah, he told me it was Tylenol. So you've had some some drugs that potentially impair you know some of your uh basic you know functions so this is just going to help keep your head straight and then what we're going to do is we're going to swivel you in your chair and i'm going to help you down from the truck all right does that make sense yeah okay all right just keep looking forward for me while i grab a seat Connor. hey doc what's up hey so i did the uh the drug test mm -hmm. uh on the codeine just to make sure the uh tylenol just to make sure it uh was actually Tylenol. Yeah, it's coming back positive for opioids. So oh, uh, I ran it. Okay. I just did like a Google search for uh, the the marking on the pill here. And mm -hmm. It looks like it's Tylenol with coating. With coating, interesting. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, that Which explains him falling asleep. Yeah, I mean, generally there's not a huge amount of coating in them, but it depends on when he's taken, I suppose. Did he tell yeah. you how many he's taken? What's Tylenol? Is that paracetamol? I'm sorry. What was that? Did he tell you how many he's taken? I think he said he just took yeah, two. Yeah, it's but, um, I don't know that I asked, so. Okay, I'll ask him. Yeah, you see, um, cocodamol, which is what it's called a lot, um, codeine yeah. and paracetamol or Tylenol. It's fairly okay. common, so I wouldn't necessarily expect him to fall asleep, but depends on how he's taken, like you said. Um, okay, perfect. Thanks for that. Yes, sir. How many of the uh, Tylenol did you take there, uh, sir? I, I took two of them. Okay, so it looks like the, the deputies checked the markings. It looked like it was um, Tylenol with coding, often known as Cocodamol. It's got a few different names for you. Oh, so okay. it, there is some... So it's a little bit stronger than, the, I think, the, the, the basic Tylenol you thought you were taking. Um... All right, let me get this on your hair, sir. Oh, okay. You guys call it Cocodamol? That's what we call it. All right, so this is going to be a bit uncomfortable. I'm going to get you out of this collar as soon as we get you uh, down onto the stretcher, all right? This is just to help you keep your head straight as we pivot you out of the truck, all right? Okay. Perfect, so I've got that on you there. Keep looking forward for me. I want you to... Uh, I'm going to assist with moving your legs round to me at a 90 degree angle. So we're going to do it really slowly. Just try and keep your head in line with the, the majority of your legs and your body, right? You understand? We're just going to sort of rotate you a bit. Okay. Perfect. So on three, we're going to start slowly moving you around. Okay. Keep looking forward in line with your, your legs here. Perfect. And then when you're ready, I want you to very slowly step down from the truck. I'll give you a hand. Don't fight with the C collar. Just sort of keep your head in its in the position it's keeping it in. All right. Okay, I'm ready. All right. As we get out, take it nice and slow. If you feel lightheaded or the, like you're going to pass out, you just let me know. All right. Okay. All right. Perfect. Let's go. When you're ready. All right. Good stuff. How are you feeling, sir? Uh, a little dizzy. A little dizzy. That's, all right. that's okay. All right, we're going to take a few slow steps, nice and easy. I'm going to keep onto your shoulder here, over to the uh, the stretcher here, all right? Okay. Perfect. Slowly start moving over towards him. Perfect. So I want you to uh, sit down on the side here, and then once you're in a sitting position, we're going to slide you around to a lying position, all right? Okay. Okay, when you're ready, sir, take it nice and easy. Perfect. So now we're going to move you to a lying position. I'm going to support you back as we do this. Keep you nice and straight. We're going to rotate on three. One, two, three. Now down to a lying position. Perfect. So now I can get this very uncomfortable C collar off you. Before I do that, I'm just going to get some head blocks on. So this is going to do the same thing. It's going to keep your head straight. It's just not quite as restrictive as a C collar, all right? Okay. It's going to be a little piece of uh, essentially like Velcro over your forehead 
The reason we need to take these precautions is just due to the uh, C spine tenderness, all right? We'll get you to hospital as soon as we can, and hopefully they'll be able to make you more comfortable. Okay. Hey, Clyde, sh you want me to call the company to have the uh, vehicle picked up, or you want me to get a uh, 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 tow company out here? Oh, no freeze? Uh, just, I call the company. I guess they can have... They probably got a heavy wrecker or something. Tylenol right. with uh, what company is it? Codeine. It's uh, uh, San Andreas uh, Snow Removal. All right, I'll give them a call. Let them know the trucks here so they can come by and pick it up. Tylenol okay, so freeze. What was did I take something I shouldn't have taken? So it sounds like uh, it looks like the Tylenol had codeine in it as well, which. Uh, you know, if you took too much or on an empty stomach or mixed it with something else, could definitely uh, have been what put you to sleep. So, Tylenol yeah, number didn't, three. I didn't really eat much today, so. Oh yeah, there you go. So it's. That might have been it. All right. Acetaminophen. Well, I'll tell you what. And fifteen, thirty, or sixty okay. milligrams of codeine. Uh, I mean, it's not illegal to possess this. I, I think. Um, Generally, no. So, but uh, don't don't buy uh, pharmaceuticals. From somebody's car. Is that where you going from? That was yeah, a very small. There was a, there was a guy, there were two guys, and the one guy in the brown hat uh, told me he had all kind of stuff that I could take. Looks like Tarno Freeze is the old brand name. Okay, think, no worries. I, I think he had some glasses and like a maybe a brown jacket or something. Okay. All right, well, um, we're going to get you down to Sunny Shores Medical so they can clear your C-spine, make sure you've got no spinal fractures or anything. Um, and then, obviously, we'll get you out of here as uh, as soon as we can, all right? You happy with that? Yeah, that, that works for me. Uh, you need anything else from him, uh, Deputy? Uh, no, I'm all good. Um, I just, I'm not got a quick uh, crash report and get it off of the company. All right, perfect. All right, let's get going, sir. All right, thanks, Deputy. You're welcome. Take care, buddy. All right. Any issues? You just let the, the uh, EMT in the back here now. All right. Okay. Central rescue one. Rescue one. Transporting one from scene priority two to Sunny Shores Medical. You honking at man, I got the red and white f flashies. Get this man out of the ambulance. How you, see, how you feeling, sir? Uh, okay. Good stuff. Should I'm just, starting to feel a little better. Okay, it should just be a matter of them just doing a couple of scans, checking that you're all good, and then getting you out of here, all right? Okay, that would be good. Yeah. I'm, I don't like hospitals. No, I think most don't, to be fair. Oh, well, that didn't go to plan, but that'll do. All right, so we're going to get you transferred over to the hospital bed here. I'm going to keep you on the uh, on the backboard here, on the scoop. All right, now, so you ready to copy him over? All right, one, two, three, lift. Perfect. And three, two, one, down. All right, lovely. I'm going to leave you with the hospital staff, all right? Hopefully everything works out for you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Grab my stretcher here if I can. 
Pop that shit. Oh, sorry if I broke it. No, I broke it. I'll get out of your room as soon as I can, sir. God damn it. Oh, no worries. Judge Wapner's about to There we go. <laughs> Looks like... <laughs> du -du 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 -du. Tell you what, actually, let's just put it down here. Put the stuff back on it. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Man button number five, you want an absolute banger. Sandra in the same. Little bit of Monica by myself. Mm-hmm. This badge is also challenges one. Yeah, so Tylenol number three seems to be an old brand name. Apparently it was discontinued. Like that, they were not the product, obviously, it's a very popular product, but I don't know what they call it now. Wikipedia says it's either known as codeine, uh, acetamin, acet aminophen, which is what you guys call paracetamol for some fucking reason. Or what we call it, cocodamol. Because it's co codeine and paracetamol. Does Tylenol have a website? Tylenol extra strength. Right. Anyway, I'll look at that in a second. First crash of the night, flip a stretcher. Yeah, something like that. Jacques, what's up? How we doings? How we doings? Counting that as a vehicle crash? That is bullshit. Nah, that's bullshit, man. Definitely counts. Okay, whose side are you on? Howdy, what are you sipping, Matt? Um, I've just got some Thatcher's Haze, cloudy Somerset cider. Underrated cider, in my opinion. It's a more sweet one, but I like it very much. Bracelet guy, yeah, exactly. Uh, run it's the Northern. Hang on. Oh, run it's the Northerner. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm great. Gifted uh, membership. Thank you very, very much. Oh, Jock got it. Awesome. Thank you for that. Appreciate you. Uh, Rhiannon, what's up? How you doing? Careless, gifted 10 memberships. Absolute maniac. And then you just sent a message saying penis afterwards. This is the sort of... This is what I expect. This is what you like to see. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Very, very uh, generous of you. Give a shout out to uh, Careless if you guys got one of those memberships. Thank you, thank you. Uh, 
Tatsuya. Ooh. Dead away me. Sheesh. Sipping on sake. Oh, check you out. Oh, I'm sipping on sake. Oh, look at me. Sake. Oh. Here's me drinking what is essentially a basic bitch cider. And then Jack's. Oh, sake. Oh. God damn it. Evan, what's up? Happy Labor Day weekend. Oh, interesting. What? I've heard Labor Day weekend. I've heard of that. What is it? Got it. Matt likes to see penis. Is that... Not sure that's what I said, Caitlin, but... I'm not going to say no. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I got alerts for robberies in the ambulance. Want to see me do it again? Keep your money, big man. Uh, you're still you matt yeah thanks there's a dusty bottle of god knows on the shelf behind me oh i must know what it is central rescue one rescue one clear at sandy shores uh, medical center returning to station one 10-4 uh 2019 careless you maniac Need to chill out, big man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another 10. And then just says the word penis. <laughs> Thank you. Calm down. Control yourself. Oh, if you guys got a membership from Careless on this occasion, make sure you give him a thank you. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. I feel discriminated against. Have you um, pressed the button if you're on mobile? Apparently, this is like what Finn had for like a whole, like three months where he didn't enable it or something. I don't really watch streams on my phone, so but apparently on iPhones, you have to go in and enable it or something. Either that or he just clearly doesn't like you, which is fair. I don't know, man. Oh, you're on PC? I don't think you have to accept anything on PC, right? You should just be able to get gifted them. It just doesn't like you. Membership settings, there you go. Thank you, thank you, Careless. Join the Discord? Yeah, if you are mentally ill enough, then we have a Discord that I was peer pressured into creating. Um, there's some avoid the not safe for work channels unless you literally have a wish for mental destruction other than that we pretty much just chat shit and talk about formula one and that's pretty much it guess it doesn't like the northern yeah i mean who does you know that was rude Head back to station one. Uh, Labor Day was invented by the labor unions to celebrate the labor movement in the late 19th century. So it's just like a workers day sort of thing. By labor unions, I assume you mean like labor as in construction and like all the trades. Like physical labor, I assume you mean, I don't know. Man. You guys have some weird holidays we don't have. Oh yeah, and there's also some dogs and stuff in there. That's the best bit. Occasionally someone posts their dog. And then it instantly becomes the best thing that's ever been put in the Discord. Oh God. Hello, this is uh, Mr. Uh, Adam. Hi, Adam. This is uh, this is 
Thomas with the Phil Hill Medical Center. Uh, I'm calling with some medical results. Uh, may I speak to Adam O'Neill? Yeah, speaking. Oh, God. Wonderful. Um, I've got some results regarding a recent test. Uh, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Um, turns out you are pregnant, uh, and it is a boy. Um, Wait, what? Uh, we want to congratulate you. Um, you know, the pregnancy, you know, I, I know it's a very stressful time. Um, pregnancy is it's a very big deal. Wait, who's pregnant? Um, so I think our next... You are? Okay, I'm, I'm Mr. Adam O'Neill. Oh. Shit. Um, you know what? I may have mixed up some results. Sorry, Wait, Mr. does that O'Neill. mean that the other party... That the person I took the maternity test is actually pregnant? With my child? Wait, no, um... Well, don't uh, um, don't um no. me, Miss. Are you telling me that I'm gonna be I'm a I'm a goddamn dad? Is that what you're telling me right now? Well, well, the results said you're pregnant. I think I may have mixed something up. Yeah, but so, so I came in and did a paternity test. So does that mean that that was? We did a paternity. Does that mean that's positive? You're here for a paternity test. Oh, so you're not carrying a child right now? I don't have a womb, so. I was asking. See, the results came back and said you were carrying a child. No. That's what I... I mean, okay, okay. Yeah, my mistake. Like, it's totally fine. This happens all the time. Me, uh, it sh it, it probably stuff. shouldn't happen all the time. It does. It's, it's very calm. <laughs> okay, well, that, that's a whole other issue. We won't even get into data protection yeah. issues with that. But So, does, hang on. Oh. So, hold the phone. Does this mean that the other party is pregnant and I am the dad? Is that what you are looking for? I, I want the truth. I don't want you to just make shit up. Engine one and rescue one. If we could I, have I, you be en route to postal no, one. I'm being dispatched right now. I'm on duty as a paramedic. I've got to go. Just call me back when you get your shit together. Investigation. Okay. Pumps and vehicles that exploded. We have a police unit that's en route to the area. 1020 postal at Panorama Drive. Engine one en route. Rescue one en route. 1048 Union. For, thank you. Starting your route. Recalculating. God damn it. <laughs> what does this mean? What does this mean? I didn't even hear what the call was for. Some pumps have exploded and... or something. In one-tenth of a mile, turn left. Turn left. Continue straight. You have arrived. Central Rescue 1 on scene. Tepper. Hey guys, what's you going on? Me, man. Dylan, I was gone. Damn it! Yeah, I'm just burned on my arm. Is it two of them? I'm feeling very good. Yeah, there's another one. Hey, over this there. guy here, he's got. I mean, he's ugly, but this guy stomach. has burns <laughs> visibly on his chest and whatnot. Okay. He's not feeling too good. We've got another engine coming as well. Um, okay. Is he I talking to you? Yeah, he's been talking. He's been verbal. I just I haven't touched him because of the yeah, burns and whatnot. Okay, that's fine. Just leave him there for a second. Let me check the other guy. All right. If you feel comfortable sitting down. This guy got burns as well. Sorry, man. I wish I could yeah, he's got a burn on his arm. Been talking to you, all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Out of the of car. All right, so we've got another firefighter coming. All right, just sit tight, and they'll be with someone here in a second. I just need to check on your friend because he seems to be having some bigger issues than you. Yeah, I, I think I think the the car isn't the main concern right now. Well, it's still running. You can hear the engine. 
Central Rescue 1 update. Go ahead, Rescue 1. No, I've got one vehicle exploding, no longer uh, engulfed. I've got two patients, both awake and breathing, both with uh, burns. I'm currently assessing. Engine's just rolling up now. All right, hold on, buddy. He's going to help hey, sir. you. What's going on? Just the some machine, machine. All right. Happen, okay, you're doing all right. You're going to be fine. My name's Adam. I'm paramedic with Southern Jazz Fire Rescue, all right? Okay, let me have a look here. Hey, can Get you grab up. the oxygen bottle from the uh, stretcher? Right, Chuck name, a buddy? normal hey, breather mask Steve on it. Price. Steve Price. Hey, Steve, how are you doing? Price all right, let's have a look here. Yeah, that's right. right here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna put this mask on your face, all right? No, it's my buddy. That's your buddy. Okay, what we got here? It's got some. Hey, man, how are you hey, doing? Hey, so do me a favor, just open your mouth for me I'm as wide as you can. Can you hurt anywhere? Okay, all right, you can close it. Thank yeah, you. Just keep taking the oxygen. On my left arm. Hey, he's got um airway bands. Right. Let me get some. Uh, air, he's got sooted airways as well. Cream for you. One moment. Jesus, okay, right. Let's get the shirt off. We need to cool some of these burns. Uh, we need a cold water supply. Not, not cold, uh, fresh water. Can you guys, uh, or can you, I'm can you head into the flywheel, see if they've got any the bottles ground. of water for me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll run in there for you. Already. I'd say you're going to be all right, okay? Stay nice and still for me. I'm going to get you some pain relief here in a second. I know you're probably in a lot of pain. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me go ahead and apply that for you. Okay, let's get this shirt off. I'm just gonna have to cut some of these uh, so this this hoodie off here so I've got to get a better look at your chest, all right? I feel so much better. Okay. Thank you. And let me go ahead and wrap that up. Here. Wrap your arms Alright, pass me both of them. Just right. get as many as you can. The other guys gonna need some as well. Alright. Appreciate it. I'm just gonna start pouring them over here. Let's get some of this these cooled. Dispatch off the off the channel for a moment. Right, there you go. Alright, okay. thank you. Anything Is my else? buddy gonna be alright? Uh, let me just check with my check with EMS here. And see, I'll get right back. So you still with me? Yeah. What's the pain like oh, at the yeah. moment on scale of one to ten? Ten. Ten. Okay. Believe it or not, sir, that's actually good. All oh. right. That that means that a lot of this them aren't aren't car. full thickness because as soon as they go it's third degree, car, you can't feel it anymore. All right. So okay. I know it doesn't that's feel good. like it because you're in a shit of pain, but we're gonna get yeah, your sword out here. All right. Good news. His name's Chad. Okay, let's get, once we've got all this water on, let's get some Burns dressings on to anything we can't call and then let's get some, uh, some wrap on them. So Chad McFarlane? Yeah, Chad. Okay. You want me to try to get more water? Oops, uh, we should be good. Okay. I don't need CPRs, okay? Yeah. Hey, uh, can you just grab the uh, life pack okay, from well, the stretcher there, please? Better, I'm gonna go help these yeah, guys, nope. since your friend seems All right. to be a little bit worse. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you guys do what you guys Perfect. Right. What's um, yeah, cleaning film called in, uh, or... in the US? Right, do you do? You Here you go. Sarin wrap, right? You're welcome. Is that what, what you call it? information from him? Sarin wrap, yeah. Yeah, so the owner of the car is a chap. All right, perfect. Let's just get some vitals on him, if you don't mind, whilst I'm just getting these burns wrapped up in some sarin wrap. I was trying to talk with them earlier, but I saw the Camaro, so I just I was trying to figure everything out. I and I'm gonna try and get a line in, get him some pain relief, and we'll get him you out said of here. That it just randomly caught on fire. Yeah, uh, it happened to me earlier with my uh, with the F-150. I got yeah, his buddy just had some uh, superficial burns on his problem. arms. I took care of that. How many planes are we gonna have land today? Yeah, let's get them out. It's an airport. All right. Well, I'm gonna go run their information. All right, I'll go talk to him, see how he's doing. Uh, who's the, uh, All right, we have an elevated heart rate and low blood oxygen. Name or anything yet. Okay, he's that makes sense. He's got um so, both yeah. sooting and burns to his airway. All right. Um, yep. All right, let's get a line in. On I've got him on 15 liters already on high flow. All right. Um, I've got these burns covered up. So I'm getting some pain relief from them. We'll get him out of here. Do you mind getting the uh, scoop ready and getting some head blocks ready? All right. This time, let me go grab that for you. Appreciate it. So you still with me? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. 
All right, this I'm gonna... oxygen's helping. It's helping. Okay, I'm gonna get a little needle in your arm here and allow me to give you some good pain relief, all right? And then I'm gonna get oh, you out to the hospital yes, as soon please. as we can. I want you to give me your right arm here. Just keep it nice and relaxed. Try not intense okay. to tense up. I understand it's difficult because you've you know in a lot okay. of pain, but you're doing really yeah, well, okay. all right? Yeah, it's okay. I'm a strong man. You are a strong man, the strongest of men. Okay. How long does right, it take for me to feel it? Well, I'm just getting the IV in now, and then um, we'll administer oh, it over a sort of a five-minute period. But we'll get moving before then. You should should feel it pretty quick. Okay. Eighteen gauge IV. Okay, perfect. We got that in there. You just pass me the uh, drugs bag, please. Yeah, here you go. All right, so have you got any allergies to anything? Any uh, known reactions? Any previous issues with any medication? I'm lactose intolerant. Just okay, back that's on the fine. Channel, gonna, one. Don't worry, we're not going to pump you full of meat, uh, milk. Rescue one, good. Or meat. So far, so do you have a possibility yeah. here yeah. when you might be finished meat. on this call? Just getting some uh, pain relief on, and then we'll be transporting to Sandy Medical. It's going to be a priority one call, so it's going to be 510. Separate, thank you. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to give you some morphine on board, all right? Um, some people have a uh, reaction to morphine when they feel quite nauseated. They feel like they want to vomit. If that's the case, let me know straight away. and can get you some antiemetic, which basically means it's going to uh, stop you from uh, feeling that nausea, all right? Okay, thank you. You know what, actually, you're, we're going to give you seven and a half, bearing in mind how much pain you're in. Okay, here we go. Alright, perfect. That That's going to start going into you, so whilst that's um, taking effect, we're going to get you... Um, Onto the backboard here, onto the scoop, right? Okay. Um, let's get the scoop off of here. The scoops. The scoop scoops, yeah. And one goes on each side, and then we press it together, so it sort of scoops you up, hence the name. All right. That feels good. All right. Good stuff. You guys um, ready? I've got the other side already on. You good if I roll yeah, them towards me, and then we can clip it together? Yep. You want me to help? Yeah, if you don't mind, that'd be great. Yep. Just to help We're the firefighter right that side, just supporting him from that angle, yeah. All right, so what did you say your first name was? Sorry, I forgot. Oh, uh, it's Chad. Chad? Okay, Chad. We're just going to roll you onto your side here, all right? Just let us do all the work. I don't want you to try and do anything, all right? Okay. Okay. Perfect. On three, guys. One, two, three, roll. Perfect. Get that clipped yeah. in there. And down on three. One, two, three, down. All right, perfect. Let's get this strong man to the ambulance. Um, when you get him on the All stretcher right. first, you guys ready to lift? Yep. Perfect. Lift it on three. One, two, three, lift. And lift. All right, here we go. Just watch it, watch it. There you go. Oh, that's slippery. Yeah. All right, Chad, we're going to get you in the ambulance, get you to Sandy Medical Center. You let me know if anything changes on the way. There'll be an EMT in the back Hello, of you, all right? Boys. Can I ride with my buddy in the ambulance? Yes, you can, sir, as long as you do everything the EMT tells you to do. Yeah, I'll do that. Perfect, John. Is he going to be okay? He's going to be all right. He's got some decent burns. Um, I think we're mostly second degree at the moment. So he's in a lot all of right. pain, but we've got some pain relief on board. And we're going to get him to Sandy Medical as soon as we can, all right? Oh, all right. All right. And you should probably have the doctors check you out at Sandy also. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Central engine one. Engine one. Show me off this and ready for the next call. 10-4. Showing you 10-8, uh, 23-7. Alright, heading back to Pluto. <laughs> Separate. Central rescue one. Go ahead. Transport in one, priority one, Sandy Shores Medical.
All right, so, so there's only so far you can go, all right? But there's going to be some seats in the hallway that you can uh, you can take a seat in. And then I'll get all one right. of the doctors to come out and have a look at you as well, all right? Stay with me. I need 50 cc stat. All right, well, let's not start shouting out random stuff. He doesn't need 50 cc's or anything right now. You can see that. need 100 cc's. Yeah, well, maybe. It's Any not... of these seats is fine, sir, all right? He'll just be in the operating room. Give me 1,000 cc's. Give me a let's liter. Let's not. Well, I don't think an overdose is going to help you right now, so let's be honest. Okay, let's get you put down. Not put, not put down. <laughs> As in... Don't put me down, Yeah, let's dog. not do that. All right, let's get you transferred over to the... Weird seat thing. All right. All right, guys, this is Chad. He is... I'm going to say you early 20s, Chad. I'm... Yeah, I'm 20. 20, perfect. Chad was in a vehicle that was... in. Involved in some sort of explosion at the gas station. Um, he has been conscious and breathing throughout, as far as I know, speaking to the deputies that arrived first on scene. He's got um, significant second and partial um, third degree burns. Uh, we have called as best we could on scene, got him wrapped up with uh, strips of sound wrap to keep it all nice and clean, and I've given him 7.5 milligrams of morphine sulfate via a 18 gauge IV uh, that like is currently in a his left arm. And he wants a sandwich. So I feel like a sandwich. Oh, he feels like a sandwich. Wrap. Yeah, saran wrap. Good stuff. All right, so I hope you feel better. Thank you. All right, he's Give in with the doctor, sir. So, right? Is he going to live? He, he's going to be... He should live, all right? I can't say what's going to happen to him, but he's in good hands. He's stable right now. He's in the best place for care, right? And um, hopefully they'll be able to get him treated pretty well. All right, one of the dogs is going to be out to see you in a minute, right? All right, so he's going to live. Hopefully. Haven't had a chance to look at the uh, chat, but I already know there's so many questions about the Saren rap. Get this ambulance out of the way and I'll explain. <laughs> um, let's just chuck this. I'll just go park by the uh, BTSO station. Catch up when you're always home. Do, 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 do. So yeah, before that fucking happened, I think I might. I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> I think I'm pregnant, man. <laughs> that was so funny. God damn it! <laughs> when Matt, we're pregnant. <laughs> So many HIPAA violations, I know. Uh, Liam, thank you for the three months. Liam, the boss firefighter, thank you very, very much. Appreciate it. For the three whole months, thank you. Uh, obviously, it was fucking Ryan and Jeff. Yeah, let's avoid the meta guys. Do 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 do. Saran is a little yeah, it's spelled different, right? It's Sar Sar Saran, S A R A N. That's the uh, like. Can we call it clean film, right? But it's the original clean film. Not the lethal gas. You. <laughs> I'm not wrapping him in, in toxic gas. <laughs> Got lots of nose about lethal gashes. She's German. Oh, good God. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. Good God. A 
How many colors does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> what does that mean? Did the doctor think you were female? <laughs> my, perhaps, maybe. I love a dark joke. Um, so, the Saren wrap is proven to be the best pre-hospital way to keep burns clean. Um, in a pre-hospital environment, all you can do for burns is call them and keep them clean. So, if you have a water source, which in this case we did because we were right next to the flywheel, so the deputy came out and gave me like four or five balls of water to allow me to cool the burns uh, efficiently. So we've cooled it with the water, and then all we can do then after that is keep it clean. So with the clean film or the saran wrap, you, you peel off strips of it, um, and then you apply them lengthways onto the arms, legs, and to the chest. And uh, you don't wrap them round, you just apply them over top, and it keeps them clean. Um, there are burns dressings, which are like traditional look dressings, as in, you know, as in like material, but they have, um, burns gel in, like built into them. Uh, they are good for when you have no water source. So if you have no running water available and you have no bottles of water available to cool the burns, then burns dressings are the next best thing. But there you go. And it's... So, yeah, I, fuck you not. Uh, the ambulances, at least in the UK, all our paramedic ambulances have rolls of sarin wrap in the ambulances. And our helicopters have rolls of sarin wrap. The only other thing the helicopters, uh, the doctor-led helicopter teams would do that I didn't do is give a broad spectrum antibiotic. But as a paramedic, I probably wouldn't have that capability. Central rescue one. Rescue one. Clear from Sandy Shores Medical, available, returning to, to uh, Station 1. 10-4, There you go. Disclaimer, I was not LMAOing at the joke. Oh, what were you... <laughs> Hang on. I didn't read everything. <laughs> Is that what it looked like? Canal. want to throw hands <laughs> what is up for it oh he's throwing his toe throw tea in the harbor again throw you in the harbor with some bricks attached to your ankles oh are you laughing at the ftm thing nice i'm not taking them that's not that's fine i think not taking the piss out of trans people saying that they maybe thought I was which is fine anyway I mean I'm not surprised careless like as me and Jack have said before our streams and our discords are probably the complete opposite. Not so much discords, I didn't have a discord when we were talking about it, but... Jack is very much a family-friendly channel. <laughs> Whereas... Me, not so much. 
There's no pressure to join the Discord. I don't want to join the Discord at this point. Yeah, you see, Jack might not be as susceptible to peer pressure as I am. Because for me, it's like I've got a child screaming at me and I want them to stop. So I just give in. It's like... It's like the virtual... What the fuck? It's like the virtual equivalent of shaking the baby to stop them, sh stop them crying. What's the speed limit here? Because if I'm about to get pulled over by this trooper, I swear down. 65, that's fine then. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's grab some gas, shall we? If I can find where the actual, like, pump thing is. And I need to remember to take the stretcher away before I try and fill up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the most family friendly. Oh, uh, let's not. Let's not attack individuals' money. She times you out if you're swearing because that's a different, different set of rules. You know, if my rules were my rules on uh, before you let you start sending messages in my my thing says that moderate swearing is okay now i'm sure jack's rules are probably different so yeah don't you just be a dick about it man all right what was that guy looking at my ambulance for oh uh, there's the nozzle thing i wonder if he's on the other side as well oh there you go Moderate, moderate swearing is to me is pretty much everything other than the big ones, you know, like the C word. Now, as much as I am a fan of the C word, YouTube absolutely hates it. Like, I remember in a stream once, I said the C word once. I said the C word a single time and demonetized. No, it's a big deal because clearly monetization is not my primary concern with the way that my videos and mainly my streams are why am i parking in front of pumps again i'm meant to be parking for coffee but uh yeah i said the c word once and instant demonetization oh fuck the stretch I did, thanks. Just trying to grab it here. There we go. <laughs> <Just be. laughs> uh, and yeah, obviously the M word and other harsh stuff is also not okay. So moderate it's just like the, the shits fucks, that sort of stuff to me anyway. For us, it's no swearing Discord chat, but it's loud. Uh, sorry, no swearing YouTube chat, but it's loud on the Discord. Yeah, exactly. Freedom of speech to some extent? No, not really. Not when you're in a private. No. Freedom of speech doesn't apply to a, a YouTube stream where you. It's the streamer's choice as to who is watching and who is commenting. 
same way that you can turn chat off and you can turn comments off and you can put it to subscriber only or member only. No. Take my stethoscope off. Yeah, I did leave the stretcher. It was smooth. Let's grab a coffee, shall we? Engine one from rescue one. Engine one. Are you at station right now? Yes, I am. I'm at the 24-7. Do you want anything? Nah, I'm good. All right. Yeah, latte. Germany, you can get sued for showing someone the middle finger. Uh, in theory, you could get a, you could get arrested for that here, but there's stipulations to it. So swearing, or swearing at somebody verbally or with you know a, a gesture, is not a specific <laughs> crime. But we have what's called the Public Order Act, which is basically, there's lots of stuff in the Public Order Engine Act. Engine or Rescue One, did either of you happen to see a white male wearing a top hat and no pants that left the fire station recently? I haven't since he left the fire station, no. Gotcha, okay. Uh, can, did he have anything on him at all or any kind of weapons? We just got a call about him. Not that I saw, but he was looking for his purple cat or something. Um, he, he was just babbling and then jumped back in his silver vehicle and drove off. Uh, yeah, so public order act. So um, that includes things Thank like you. drunk and disorderly. So if you're drunk in no a public problem. place and you're being disorderly, be arrested for that. Um, public order act can also include causing alarm and distress in a public place. So for example, if you're in like, I don't know, a shop or in the middle of a public place and you're just constantly swearing at someone, then you could be causing, you know, there's families around and stuff. You could be causing alarm and distress and or distress. Um, and then you can be uh, arrested for that. It's not a, it's not a severe offense. You'll probably just spend the night in jail and then get a, get a fine or community service or something. But you still be arrested for it. Disturbing the peace? Yeah, similar sort of thing. certainly is Carlotta. Don't want you to faint whilst you're pregnant. Yeah, exactly. St discipline and use of the radio. That's what I like about having our own fire EMS channel now. You can do more comms between each other. Uh, probably not, Careless. It would probably still recognize it because it's not actually a human listening to watching the videos, is it? It's a, a, I don't know, like an AI or something or some sort of system. Which is always, when the video is monetized, it goes through the whole video, looking for stuff. As soon as it hears one of those C words, meh meh. I mean, it might be one of those things where it recognizes it as that and then you appeal it and then it gets removed. But... See you next Tuesday. Yeah, you can say see you next Tuesday. Just like you could probably say Charlie Uniform November Tango.
Are they chasing someone? Oh, what do you do? He's not wearing any pants and he's blathering about his missing cat. <laughs> oh, it's that guy, okay. It's a 5150, yeah. Do 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 do. Like I'm still drinking the coffee while driving. That seems safe. Yeah, it just went kind of crazy when you before you got back. Yeah, clearly. We had a traffic stop here. We had that guy in a top hat mm. with no no pants on. Nice. Yeah, we got one of the someone showed up to complain about the guy with no pants. I'm like, I really can't do anything. You'll need to call the non-emergency number. Yeah. And report it. It's not legal, I don't think. And he's like, why? Why can't you? It's like it's state law. I can't report that. <laughs> he hasn't done anything. Yeah, it's not illegal to have been to report underwear, right? A lot of people forget the freedom of speech is also freedom yeah, of consequences in the meaning that though. Check him out. Like, it, well, yeah, no exactly. You can anything. say what you want, but it doesn't mean you're not going to be sued for anything. We have to be requested by law enforcement. Uh, CJ, thank you very much for the Canadian dollar. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Surprised that car show hasn't erupted yet. Oh, yeah. I was going to go check that out, actually. The one at the... Um, you too? And no, there's one down on um, down by the water uh, on um, Roxford. Oh, really? There was one at the Utah when I drove past. Yeah, there's also one down in Roxwood 30, 35, I believe. Still there now? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. You want to jump in the ammo or no? I, why don't I come down in the brush truck? That way at least I have something. All right, cool. Central rescue one. Rescue one. We're going to head down to a uh, community event down in Roxwood, but we're available for out. Tempo, Do 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 do. heard the brand new sailors is currently under naval training. Three zero three five. What did you say, Maple? Oh, this is sick. Look at this.
here, okay? I, I just need you to sign it. I got my frames up here. Why is that troop on the ground? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Troop, are you good? What happened? You you just you just had a little nap there, man. Are you good? No, yeah, you just fell oh, over. Great. You all right? Yeah. Oh. I took a great power nap. You feel rested, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just check it, he was okay. <laughs> God, what are you guys getting okay. making it delete? Go ahead for rescue one. Pepper, can I have you in route to postal 1001 at route 68? Reference an unconscious person involved in an accident uh, that that they were ejected from following a pursuit. Tell me you say three zero zero one. One zero zero one. Oh, temple. Starting your route. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. That's good here. Recalculating. Yeah, um... When possible, make a legal U turn. In one tenth of a mile, keep right. Keep right. Continue straight. In one tenth of a mile, keep left. What the fuck are you doing? Keep left. Continue straight. Oh, they're all getting timed out by Streamlabs for saying the C word. But it can't it can't time you out because you're on the same level as it as a mod. And three maps of the mod as well. That's banter. In one tenth of a mile, turn right. Turn right. Continue straight. Oh, shit, you know.
kumquat. Such a weird fruit. It was Route 1, right? I'm not just driving the wrong direction. Recalculating. Recalculating. Voice navigation is now off. Because that's just mapping to the postcode. Oh no, there is flashing lights down there. Route 68 then. Hey, what's going on? How's it going? Good. Got uh, one ejection. He was uh, originally knocked out. Uh, okay. He has since gained consciousness and is kind of speaking in tongues. You guys were chasing uh, him? How fast were you going when he was ejected? Uh, he wasn't going too fast, maybe 20, 30, 40. Engine oh, one. okay, cool. Well, it was right here. Engine he just one. Kinda did it quick. Can I have you en route to 956 through 13, reference a... Oh, is this a guy that wasn't really wearing any pants? It is the guy. He's, right, he's still pants. Step four, thank you. Hey, so I got some 43 for you. I don't know if you've dealt with this guy before. Don't think so. All right, his name's going to be John Ford. He's uh, got a long history of substance abuse. Okay. Um, he, If you hear him talking about his cat or Mr. Skittles, it's basically a hallucination that he has when he's... Uh, under the influence um he's scared because he can't find his cat and that's because he apparently has been clean and sober for four days so he's having a lot of anxiety now due to withdrawals withdrawal gotcha all right no worries um and he yep. was ejected from the vehicle ring correct okay so that. hey so how you doing uh, you can't find it skills can't find it can't find it all right let's see if we can help you with that my name is adam i'm power money with san andreas fire rescue what's your name sir <laughs> John, 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 John. John. All right, John. Um, where are we hurting at the minute, John? Uh, I, I, my face, my face, my face hurts, and, and, and my back kind of, my back kind of. Your back kind of hurts. Back. All right, let's have a little yeah. look at you here. Stay nice and still for me, John. All right. Okay, so the um, deputies said that they reckon it was about 20, 30 mile an hour you were going when you were ejected. Does that sound about right? I, I don't know. I don't know. I just was just slowed down. Maybe right hand turn. And, I, and I, the car just rolls. The car just rolls. I was trying to thought I was okay. skills, but I didn't see it. So, John, I'm just trying to establish whether you were doing closer to like, you know, 70, 80 or closer to like 20, 30. What's the, what do you reckon? Uh, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Slow? slow, slow okay, slow. that's good. That's good. Definitely got some glass in your face here. It doesn't look like anything's gone in your eye, so we'll get you cleaned up here. And you got some um, some road rash on your arms as well. Um, let me <laughs> just do a full assessment head to toe before we get you up, all right? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, first things first, um, you obviously got some pain in your face and your arm. Anywhere else at all? No, 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 back, 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 back. Back, yeah, you mentioned the back as well, okay. So before we do anything more, I'm just going to uh, get this jacket off here just so I can have a better look at what's going on underneath, all right? And then I'm going to have a little feel of your uh, of your neck here. Just give me a second. Whilst we're doing that, I'm going to attach a blood pressure cuff to your arm here. I'm going to clip this little thing on your finger. This is going to give me some information. It's going to give me some vital information, all right? Okay, so, John, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to feel, just with my fingers here, at the base of your head, working all the way down, down your neck, and to your upper back, alright? What I'm doing is feeling your C-spine, your cervical spine, which is the upper bit of your, uh, your spine, alright? What I'm looking for is you to tell me if you've got any pain or any tenderness where I'm pressing. You should feel my fingers pressing, but um, let me know if there's any more than that, alright? He did. Ow, ow, ow. Right, right, right. 
right. So I'm gonna uh, stop. Uh, right, right at the base of my right, be, right, right between my shoulders. Right, ow, ow, ow. Between your shoulders. Okay, so we're down here, sort of five, six. All right. So that that how does that what does that pain feel like? Can you describe it for me? Uh, pinching, pinching, pinching. Pinching pain. All right. Okay. What I need you to do for me, John, is just keep looking straight up. All right, try and don't look mm -hmm. around for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to get you immobilized here in a second and get you on um, get you on the stretcher and get you to hospital, all right? Because we need to get some scans, mm -hmm. make sure everything's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, Before we do that, I'm just gonna check your vitals here. Just give me a second. Okay, I appreciate. It. No worries, I got I have nothing going on. Hey, Mr. Ford. Just checking his uh, vitals mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you feeling any better, sir? Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. Mr. Skittles, can't find Mr. Skittles. Can't find Mr. Skittles. Right, don't you worry, we're going to find him, but for now you need to relax, okay? Rest was 17. Don't work, give your heart too much of a workout, because then you'll have more problems. Heart rate's fast, mm -hmm, blood pressure's mm -hmm. high. So that's a fine. Okay, I need to go to another call right now, but they're going to take good care of you, all right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I hope you feel better soon, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. He's going to be transported to uh, Sandy Shores if you guys need anything more from him. Okay, yeah, we don't need anything more from him, but I might cool. come check on him later just to make sure he's doing all right. All right, no worries. All right, perfect. All right, so, yeah, thanks so much. No worries. Um, okay, so John. Our race is a little bit fast. Blood pressure is a little bit high. I think it's probably just because you're a little bit worked up. Have you taken anything in the last 24 hours? Any drugs? Um alcohol nope, prescribed nope, medications no 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 nope, 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 nope. nothing at all days. clean for four clean for four days clean for four days four days right what is it you're you're clean from what's your your go-to uh, i take everything i go dumpster diving i go, I go dumpster and, diving the pills. and then i go sometimes the other day i was in the i was in the hospital in the fire station i took everything there and then and then i take a lot of peyote and lsd and 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 and, and ecstasy okay all right, John. What's your um? You had, obviously had some pain in your your neck, your face, and your arms. What's the, the pain like on a scale of one to ten? Ten being the worst pain you've ever had, one being nothing. Six, 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 six in the back. Six in the back. Okay. Before we get you moving, just going to give you a little bit of pain relief here. All right. Mm -hmm. You got any mm -hmm. uh, allergies mm -hmm. that you know of? No, no. no any previous no, no, uh, no. anaphylaxis or allergic reactions? No, no, no. Any no, previous no, no. negative reaction to medications of any kind? No, no, no. But I've taken it all. I've taken it all. I've taken it all. Yeah. Okay. I want you to give me your right arm here. Just keep it nice and relaxed. I'm just going to get a little needle in here so I can give you some uh, some pain relief, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Nice and loose for me. Just keep it nice and relaxed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, sharp scratch. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Perfect. There we go. Hey, you're all right. Don't worry. No worries. Perfect. So, um, nothing crazy. I know you're obviously in um, withdrawal right now. So, we need to get you some further management done for that at the hospital. So, right now, to avoid um, any interruption with that, uh, I'm not going to give you any opiates or anything like that mm -hmm. just going to give mm -hmm. you some uh, intravenous uh, acetaminophen mm -hmm. uh, which mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. paracetamol or uh, Tylenol whichever mm -hmm. name you know it by all right yeah okay cool mm -hmm. Acetamin. I need to get used to using the American. I'm so used to saying paracetamol, which is the actual name. I need to start using the one that you guys know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, cool. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, but you wouldn't have Ivy Tylenol because Tylenol is a brand name. I would just say the brand name. It's dumb. Okay, so, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get you onto a scoop here. I'm going to have to get your head uh, secured in some head blocks, right? Just because of the neck pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so what I'm going to mm -hmm. do is I'm going to ask the trooper to go on the other side of you here. Uh, I'm going to roll you towards me. And the trooper mm -hmm. here is going to slide this backboard underneath, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect trooper. We're going to uh, roll him over on free and then just let me know when you've yep. got it underneath, right? Sounds okay, good. one, two, three, roll. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Perfect. And on down on three. One, two, three. Down. And down. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Get some head blocks on. Get you strapped up here. Perfect. If you don't mind getting the foot end trooper, we'll lift him onto the yep. uh, stretcher over here. Let me just get the things out of the way. Perfect, there we go, and we'll get him down on the stretcher. Alright. Alright, John, you feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. Any change at all? Just, no, no. Alright, we're going to get you over to Sandy Shores Medical for some uh, scans and some treatment and some follow up for your withdrawal symptoms, alright? And um, mm -hmm. any issues on the way, just speak to the EMT, alright? Yep, 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 right. yep, 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 Like Advil was ibuprofen, but why not call it ibuprofen? Weirdos. Just people pulling out in front of us, no big deal. Central. Status check. Currently transporting one priority two to Sandy Shield Medical. Uh, what's your location and estimated uh, time you'll be clear? Currently Route 68 uh, approach, so be at Sandy Medical in two, three minutes and then be clear a minute or so after that. Understood. I'm holding a call at uh, 727 Route 15. Uh, do you want to go ahead and take that, or do you want me to uh, take county medic? Uh, yeah, I can take it. Just give me a few minutes. Understood. We'll step it up code free as we've got another call waiting. Call holding 727 Route 15 at the off ramp 
tender person following the injection, 23, 23. Central Rescue 1, I copy direct. I am arrival at medical now. If you want to send through the next job, and I'll be mobile in a minute or two. Rescue 1, arrival at Sandy Medical. It'll be in route in about a minute or so. Alright, so how are we doing? <laughs> Oh, that never works. All right, I'm gonna get you swapped over to the, the uh, hospital bed here, all right? Any be issues, safe, just safe, let the safe, nurses know. They're gonna um, get you for some scans for your neck and then they'll get you some uh, some help arranged for your withdrawal symptoms, all right? Yes, 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 yes. Be safe out there. There's a lot of crazy people. Right. Be safe, all right? Feel better. A lot of crazies? Yeah, you're the fucking crazy. All right, cool. Seven two four route fifteen. Well, let's just head route fifteen and we'll find it. Job to job at the minute. Loads of medicals I've got on. Love it. Don't think I've ever done medical on Friday night before. Fucking love this shit. So somewhere along here, 724. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not, I'm not RPing that. I'm not RPing that because it just ruins the Civ's RP. Fuck that. The Civ is waiting for an evidence. I'm not going to delay. I'm not going to not send him an ambulance because AI is being a fucking idiot. That is hey, ridiculous. Uh, medic, I'm down here. You just passed me on uh, the 15. Uh, rescue one. You're underneath 15. Are you still all away? Uh, yeah, right here on where you get off uh, the Norway exit. You guys just passed me. I'm down here on the dirt road. At least the dam. Okay, ten four. Got you. I'm turn back around. That was dumb. If I wasn't going to a call, I would have RP'd that, but I'm not going to ruin the Civ's RP.
Don't even know where that AI came from, fuck's sake. Dumb shit. Oh, great. Uh, he had a cut on his forehead. I yep. wrapped gauze around it, and but he's saying he can't feel his legs. He can't move. What happened to him? Uh, he came down that dirt road right there and hit a rock and got ejected through the windshield. Oh, he was in a car and got you. Okay. Yeah. All right, no worries. Hey, sir, how we doing? Oh, man. Not feeling uh, good, no? Forehead and he said he can't feel no, the not really. Uh, what exactly happened, man? The truck's on the other side of the hill behind I, I was just coming down the road and, and I guess there was a rock or something. Mm -hmm. I hit something. Uh, I guess and you were ejected? For the vehicle as well, yeah, so. I, I guess I went through the windshield. They said yeah, I done went through the windshield. I don't know. I took me a nap. Oh, you were unconscious initially? Yeah, that's what he said. All right, no worries. Um, how fast were you going roughly when you were ejected? Getting ID on him at all? I don't know. I, I, I think I had a floor coming down that hill. Worthington. Uh, okay. So are we talking like fifty? Worthington. Hundred twenty? Like roughly how quick? Probably at least fifty. Damn. Okay. All right. Let's have a little check over. Just stay nice and still for me. All right. Let's have a look around you here. See if I can find anything obvious going on. Gotcha. You, you, you hit your head, head right? They said. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was bleeding from my head, and then my arm really hurts. Now my my I can feel my legs. They just hurt. That's all. all right. Okay, let's have a look. I, I heard him say that my, I can't feel my legs. I can feel them. They just hurt. That's all. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, just turn us still for us and have a feel up your legs, starting at your ankles, working my way up to your upper leg here, just to see if I can feel anything obvious. If when I'm feeling around here, if you get any sudden pains or anything, let me know. So I'm just going to start on your left leg here, working up from the foot. I'm going to okay. see if I can just gently press it up here, just checking for any possible fractures. All right, perfect. And the other leg here, starting at the ankle. And I'm going to work my way up here to the knee. And then to the upper leg here by the pelvis. Okay, good stuff. Let's have a look at your head. Do you mind if I take your hat off? Is that right? Oh, uh, yeah. Just so I can have a good look at your head, make sure there's no nothing crazy going on. Appreciate it. Nice hat, by the way. Oh, thanks, man. My grandpa gave me that hat. Oh, that's crazy. That's awesome. I love that it's kind of, uh, you know, hand me down. Not hand me down. You know what I mean? Like passed down through sort of a generation. That's cool. Okay, so. Got definitely got bruising you. Ah, uh, bastard. Fucking bastard. <sighs> Fuck. Be right back if you want to wait. Come on, load the fucking thing. Why aren't you loading? Fucking. Uh. Come on, work. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Slap me in the arse and call me Jeremy. We're finally working. 
Is that for rescue one? Yes, 10 four. I'm uh, ten. I'm ten zero. Just getting back in now. I'm still on scene of the last one. Gotcha. Okay. Back in my bag, yo. Engine one, are you available? Conscious. I saw. Dumb. Back in my bag, and I gotta brag. I do this shit for real. When we was down, and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel. Shorty Engine one. Back in a pair of hills, and she be riding on that thing like a Ferris wheel. Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel. You know I had to bring it to the hood. Engine one. Okay, sorry. Could we have you out at? Postal 941 westbound at Route 68 for one of our units whose vehicle is on fire. He is not injured. En route. Thank you. Son of a bitch. Don't you Wake up. fucking do it. Alright, sorry about that. I had to go for a little run just to get the blood moving. You know how it is. Um, what are we doing? Right, so. You got a uh, hematoma on your right leg. Pretty minor. You got a, uh, On your left leg, sorry. You got a contusion on your right leg. Your head's looking okay. Um... So, the deal is, so uh, if you're, I would recommend you go to hospital, because you had a loss of consciousness. Uh, a loss of consciousness uh, combined with, uh, you know, a trauma of this speed could mean that there's some sort of neurological issue going on. Uh, there could be some, you know, worst case scenario, you've got a bleed. So, uh, we need to get you some CT scans if we can. Alright, I can do that. Alright, so if you're happy, I'll load you up and we'll take you to... Uh, well, wherever you prefer, I suppose. We can either go Sandy or Pillbox from here. Oh, uh, let, let's go to Sandy. All right, no worries. Um, I just need to check your back here a second before we get moving. All right. I'm just going to uh, palpate your C-spine here. So I'm starting at the base of your skull, working way down to your upper back, neck and then to upper back, all right? As I'm pressing, I just want you to tell me if you get any pain or uh, strange discomfort, all right? All right. Perfect. So I'm going to start at the top here, and I'm going to work my way down. So starting at C1, base of your head. C2, C3, keep going down. In the neck area no. now. No, no, man. It, no, it upper don't hurt back. at all. It, what was weird is it hurt before I crashed, and then it feels better now. I, I don't... I don't okay. know what that, what that's it called. might have just been a spasm or something maybe have you ever had a like a any of them before sometimes your muscles no. can like sort of clench up and spasm no i hurt myself playing football back in high school and uh i had trouble kind of a little bit of trouble walking but after the crash it don't hurt at all very strange all right all right so well let's get you sat on here uh, let's get the seat folded up for you. There's no need for you to lay down on this thing. I'll get my bags out of the way. Perfect. I'll help all you right. up just in case. As I stand you up, just uh, let me know if you get any dizziness, lightheadedness, or you feel like you're going to pass out, right? all you right? Let me know when you're ready. Can I have my hat back? Uh, yeah, it's just on the ground there next to you. Just grab it. Perfect. Stand up. All right, I've got your shoulder here. Just when you're ready, stand up for me. Okay. Perfect. Stay nice and still. Just grab onto me. How are you feeling? Any lightheadedness? No, man. All right, good stuff. Let's get you laying, uh, well, laying, sitting, whatever you want to do on this stretcher. Uh, if it's more comfortable for you, I can put the uh, headrest up and you can uh, do that. No, this this fine. Okay. 
All right, perfect. We'll get you to Sandy. Uh, you guys need anything more from gentlemen? Uh, no, if you can just make sure the hospital uh, holds them and releases them into our custody, uh, actually into the uh, See how they're here? transport. Um, he's, he's going for a little bit. Okay, no worries. I'll let them know. I right, appreciate you, man. All right. All right. Better decision, Gerald. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have taken off off road with you driving a truck. Is that why you crashed? You were running from him? Shouldn't have taken off in the first place. Oh, yeah. And stole a vehicle. Oh, Gerald, man. What you doing? I, man, I borrowed it. Borrowed it? I, I I'm not going to judge you. All right, I'm going to chuck in the back here with the EMT. Oh, that's not what. There we go. Any issues? Just let them know, all right? All right. All right. You won. Priority two. Uh, let's turn around at the gas station up here. Navigation is now on. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to have to drink now. Is that what you said to the woman you knocked up? <laughs> One from up north, they doing? Been lurking? Ah, oh, I could appreciate some lurking. Why is nobody listening to me right now? Respect my authority. Yeah, Troop Red is uh, Umbrella. AI is not yielding at all. Although, because I crashed, I do need to respawn this ambulance. I just didn't do it before I, I uh, loaded him up. Fucking hell. for rescue one status check just arrived at Sandy Shores Medical is offloading patient now understood rescue one arrival at Sandy Medical 2343 
What's happening? I'm gonna second say I'm having some stretcher issues. Uh, you want me to try to just get out? Yeah, let, yeah, let's do that. Gonna, there we go. Right, let's wheel you in. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so I'm going to leave you with the hospital staff here. They're going to get you uh, a head scan. Just make sure everything's all good up there. All right, they'll get your wounds all cleaned and covered up as well. All right. All right, I appreciate it. All right, I hope you feel better. All right, thanks. Man. Hey, guys, the uh, Leo on scene said that he's got to go into custody afterwards. So if you want security, just to be with him. No, they said I could go. Uh, that's not what they told me, sir. So sorry. They said, they said I got a free vacation. <laughs> All right, let's delete this vehicle and start again. And the stretch is gone. Okay, fuck. Okay. Uh, right. Do we want to try the Ford ambulance? Oh no, it's too. It's, I've had issues with the Ford ambulance actually. I like this Chevy. Uh, I'll let you decide. What do you want, Chevy? Or Or the Ford What do you want? Stop fucking vaping, I swear down on my mum's grave Ford, baby Okay, we'll do Ford for a bit I remember trying to get up to get up a hill once in the Ford and it just had no power so we'll see if that's still a thing uh, right. they're the same back they're just a different like truck on the front Third option, golf cart, I wish. Yeah, different fronts, although I admit they look pretty much identical, so. Oh, God. Uh, hello, this is Adam. Uh, hi, I'm looking for an a, a Adam O'Neill. Uh, Adam O'Neill? Uh, yeah. That's yeah, one. that's me. How can I help? Um, hi, uh, I'm calling with the Pillbox Hill Medical Center. Uh, uh, this is... Uh, it's who, sorry? Tomas, I'm with the Pillbox Hill Medical Center. Oh, yeah, I spoke I'm to one of your me. colleagues earlier. Oh, okay, right. Well, has he already delivered you the news then? Well, he told me I'm pregnant, but I can't be pregnant because I don't have a womb. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm sorry that uh, that there was a misunderstanding there. Um, I just want to let you know it is uh, it is cancerous, uh, <coughs> but it's okay. We can get it removed. It's no big deal. Fuck. Um, Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. That's the I'm sorry. Uh, that's the wrong name. I don't name. think you can tell that from a maternity test, no. sir. No. Yeah, that's the I'm wrong not a name. doctor, I'm, I'm just a mere paramedic. I'm sorry. But I don't think that's how paternity tests work. No, no, you're right. I was looking at Christine Roberts. I'm okay, sorry. let's wait, that's okay. shit. I shouldn't have said that. No, oh, damn it. Damn it. Oh, so you, ever of, oh, you ever heard of fired oh You ever heard of you ever heard of HIPAA? I know. I damn it, dude. Right, I feel like on. you've done okay. this before as well. Okay, let's just move on swiftly. I'll forget that you ever told me someone's uh, uh, okay. very sensitive information. 
I've, I, I've already been warned about this before. Okay. okay. Jesus Christ, man. Get it together. Come on, let's go. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a boy. It's yours. Congratulations. Okay, so I am the father. It's but that yeah yeah. Full on Darth Vader moment. Okay. Means towards that yeah. Um, am I do I am I allowed to know who the who the mum is yet? Uh, I I don't know, man. I just run it. I'm just delivering news about a test you did. Okay. Okay, but surely you can tell me who the other mum. I mean, if you're gonna break Kip, you might as well break it again. You're trying, are you trying to get me fired, man? All right, look. Break. I can't break Kip, huh? No, of course not. That'd be unreasonable. No, dude. I told you about Christine Roberts stuff. I can't. Right. I can't tell you about. It. You just said it again. Shit! Damn it! Ah, okay. Um, right. I'm gonna. You should probably go okay. and call Christine Roberts right now. Okay. Yeah. Because she's got cancer Christine. and she don't know about it. I know. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Uh. Sorry. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Um. Congratulations again. Yeah. You're gonna be a dad. I, I know. Dad? Apparently, I'm gonna be a dad, but I don't know where to where the baby's gonna be because I don't know who the mum is. But sure. I don't. I don't know, man. Okay. You. You can deal. I, I got to deal with this. Yeah. Call. Call Christine. I'll do that. Make sure you don't okay. tell Christine uh, someone else's details. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll All try. Right. Christine Roberts, you got this, man. I believe in you. Christine Roberts, got you it. You got this, okay. man. All right, bye. Hello? This is Tomas with the Tilbox Hill Medical Center. I'm looking for Christine Roberts. <laughs> Big man. It's, it's Adam again. Adam O'Neill. Damn it. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I misread the number. You can't just press yep. redial. That won't work. I, I, okay. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Sorry. Christine Roberts. Sorry. You got okay. this. Christine Roberts. I got it. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bro needs a new job, man, before he gets himself fired or worse, sued to death. Good God. <laughs> God damn it, Thomas. <laughs> Like, what does HIPAA even stand for? I know it's like the US medical data protection thing. It's like our uh, GPD GPDR or GDPR, or whatever the fuck we call it. Federal regu reg regulatory standards outlining the law for use and disclosure of protected health information. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Gotcha. Right. Let's drive back to Polito and chuck some tunes on, Jim. Sunk the boat and had to swim a kilometre back to shore, but my bong and weed are safe thanks to the waterproof backpack. Why are you sinking your boat? It's not that difficult. <laughs> God damn it. I need to go back and read the messages between the last two calls, don't I? Oh, you had a pizza? What did you have on the pizza? He kind of ruined the gender reveal party. <laughs> Did Faded fall asleep? We're going to be aunties. God damn. What's the Blake? What's up, mate? Doing? All night, all night. Sunk, just swamped. Gotcha. Light, 
Meat. Oh, yeah. I love those pizzas. I just go and I buy the one that says meat. Right, let's go back to station one, shall we? I wonder if they've still got that car event going on. I didn't even get a chance to look at the cars. I'm in a fucking ditch now as well. I guess we'll head back into Roxwood see if they're still doing stuff. What's the speed limit on this road? 50 mile an hour, he's doing 30, that's fine. There we go. Can't park there, mate. How you doing, JJ? Engine one is still on, yes. Yeah, we're currently station one. Not that it matters because we'll still get dispatched to anything else statewide. It's a 60, isn't it, the highway? Insert Lego Batman off, yeah. Something like that. Oh, there's the engine. How's he going? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my mouth has just gone off. That was fucking weird. It's back on. So the black screen there for a minute. Hey, engine one, you doing anything right now? You're not coming through. Engine one from rescue one. Yeah, I forgot to turn my microphone on. I'm relocating to station two. Okay, do you want to come out here? Three zero, three zero. I've got a overturned truck. I'm just making contact with the driver now. I let know if he doesn't, if you're not needed, but at the moment the truck's on its side and it's smoking. All right. Hey, sir, you okay? Sir? There's no way this is fucking AI, right? Sir, can you hear me? Sir? Where's the postal? Three zero, three zero. So, are you okay? So? So, are you okay? Can I help you? 
ça Hey, sir, you alright? How can I check? Sir, you okay? Engine one, rescue one. You can stand down. It's an AI that managed to roll over a truck and get stuck in the side of twenty four seven somehow. Oh, that's you, not you're good. welcome to head over if you're already. Yeah, you, you'll see it. I'm or I'm here. <laughs> So he was crouching on the top as if he was, you know, okay. injured. I've never seen them do a local do that before. But I've been seeing this happen all night. Interesting. So there's something in the server that's causing it to, well, all right. do this. Well. Ah, county to... Oh, there you go. Cool. All right. Well, don't worry then. Yep, County Toes is very, very, very good. You said you're going to Station 2? Uh, yeah, because that seems to be like where everything's happening. Is in the yeah, county. Are all the trucks still at Station 1 or no? No, they all despawn. Okay. All right. Well, I'll uh, head somewhere. I don't know. Interesting. Did not expect that to be AI. <laughs> I just wanted to put something in and out of character because you can do that emote. That's just the scared emote. So I didn't know whether the you know the Sith could have been RPing as um. Anything, the Sith could have been called uh, RP as someone who's scared or having a panic attack or non verbal, you know. I didn't want to just instantly assault them. That'd be a bit of a douche move. I'm going to stay at station one for now. We've still got three CCSO units. So, you know, I'll stay up here for a bit. Have a little drive around Roxwood, see if there's anyone still around that area as well. Don't blame me for flipping that one, that's bullshit. No chance. Don't make me wake up. Don't make me wake up. I see the 
of rocks here we come is the aliens aliens it'd be nice to have a fire station uh, in Roxwood I'm sure they will be eventually because they're they're already getting ready to release the next version of Roxwood as it is so I don't know whether this next version is going to have a fire station, but I'm sure there will be eventually. Eventually, this will be a whole big ass collection of map. About go fishing? <laughs> I don't know what you're referring to. Nobody getting noodles. Can't imagine there's still going to be anyone left up here. Nah. Just the, uh, whatever that is. Shame we got a call when we did, that would have been nice to have chatted with some of the civs. I like myself a bit of Roxwood. It's very nice, very nice looking at locations. Got jet skis in the war and all sorts of shit. Got on board waiting for you. These fucking people. Fuck's sake, man. There's just so many default spawn fire engines. What the fuck? Should probably repair that shit. Loads of people around here. I wonder if some the elder 
feel like the population density is up really high or somebody's got it up really high. All right, anyway. What were you all saying? Should we move station two? I think we might as well move station two. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, apparently it is. All right, I'm just going to go to the toilet and get a drink. And then um, we will head down to station two and relocate. Rescue one, ten, six, five mics. All right, cool. Give me, uh, give me five minutes, guys. Tell me now you feel something Yeah, you want it a million and you show it What you want is it really that important You've been on my mind and I really can't ignore it That was a panic button. What's going on with that? Got some uh, crisps as well. Yeah. 
fuck. Right, let's see where the panic button was. See anyway. We've got rescue one out of station one. one and engine two out of station two. Understood. Engine to rescue one to a staging location near 1029 Alhambra Boulevard for the officer down. Engine Starting your route. to rescue one in one tenth of a mile turn right. 1029 you have Alhambra Boulevard Voice for the officer down. Now off. Time out double zero sixteen. Engine two in route. A lot of gunfire still. Rescue one copies. I'll stage at station two until it's clear. Understood. Yeah, engine two, uh, keep well clear. Uh, it is an active scene. Uh, scene is not secure, do not roll in. I cannot get to 1029. There's just too much gunfire, and I, I can see it from where I am. I'm just holding at 1023. All right, engine uh, two, I've got two staged. Rescue one will be en route to station two to stage. This about to be out of channel. I will come back in when the scene is secure. Rescue right. one copies. Gunfire. We got a hella gunfire apparently. Officer down. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I definitely wasn't reading the chat. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I definitely wasn't reading the chat, all right? This is your fault. Let's not forget this is your fault. Uh, I really dislike beer. He's definitely still playing uh, Starfield. I've got uh, rum and coke. And no, I meant crisps, not not chips. Maple, can you say, Matt, that I said bye? He sh should not read my message. Oh, are you going? If you are, goodbye. Let me see that. That's the message I was trying to read when I crashed. So that is your fault. That's Carlotta's fault that I crashed. That is 100% Carlos's fault. Don't write messages that I need to read.
Can't get blaming us for the AI for your crashes. No, that one was my f was uh, was not the AI fault. So that was your fault. There's another officer down. There's another panic button. Jesus. Got two panic buttons. Uh, engine two, rescue one. I'm gonna stage at one zero three nine because they just pressed their panic button again, so I don't want to go anywhere near it. Yeah, that's, I'm stuck over at the station, so yeah, just be safe. Are you at the hospital? Yes. All right, turn for. I'll stay here on East Joshua at one zero three nine. I can be there in sort of thirty seconds. All right. Did I just both stage wrong by that special? Yeah, I did spell stage wrong. Fucking idiot, honestly. Stagged. <laughs> yeah, we're we're stagged. We're stagged, all good. Jesus Christ. Fucking idiot. Good time to eat my crisps though. Rescue one, engine two, central be advised. Scene is still active, not secure. You can continue to stage. Copyright. En engine two, copy. About to be back out of channel. Hundred percent, you're falling out of three hours sleep. Well, pretty sure I told you to go to bed ages ago. Shelter in place protocols now. Press you want to route ETA 30 seconds. Be advised, we're getting reports. Uh, one person outside is going to be deceased. Um, there's going to be an additional officer down, still breathing upstairs in uh, Sandy PD. Press your copies.
Hey, is he okay? Uh, no, good luck. Looking good. He's been uh, he's been hurting for a while here. I think he has uh, multiple GSWs. Let me have a look. Rescue one. I'm checking one trooper outside the front of station. Yeah, I'm at the top of the stairs checking out a trooper. Tavo, how many in total have we got in there? This guy's got two GSWs, no pulse, so if we've got multiple, I'll have to leave him. You know how many down we've got total? Uh, officers, uh, there's two more inside the station. Right, like They're right DOAs, on the stairwell. One DOA and I believe there's two subjects down as well. Tavo, I'm coming in. This guy's not uh, no pulse, not breathing. He's been down for a while. Um, All right. Yeah, I've got to go and triage the others. I'll see what situation they're in, then I'll come out if I can for now. If you don't mind, just get his uh, vest off and just start chest compressions. Okay, yeah. I'll... All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make my way downstairs on one leg. Hey, this is this guy workable? Yeah, take care of the trooper. This guy, this guy shot 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 in the face. Face. He needs help. I'm with you. Is he breathing? Okay, deputy, you what's what you got going on? Uh, I got I'm hitting the leg, but I'm gonna get down the stairs. Alright, uh, get downstairs. Take care grab a twin okay for the ambulance, get it someone to put it on for you, alright? Alright. This guy has a weak pulse. Have we got any other Leo down up here? Uh, negative, negative. All right, cool. Suspect. Here's, uh, let me check you some gauze here. Just get some, uh, get some wounds packed if you can. I'll come and check on him in a second. All right, copy. What's this guy's deal? Oh, shit, he's going. Uh, weak, weak pulse. I'm checking breathing now. He was shot in the face. He's barely breathing. Okay, cool. Let's get this guy's priority one then. The other suspects are uh, not looking good, and the other trooper has been down for a while. The other one's walking wounded. So let's get uh, some airway on this guy, get some oxygen on him, and let's get him out. All right. Trooper, if you can hear me, I'm just going to put this mask over your face, all right? I got it on 15 liters. All right. Let's check him. How many GSWs we got on this guy? Um, can't tell. I just saw a couple. Okay. Let's get his vest off. Let's check him underneath as well. See if we've got any exit wounds. Get more packed up. If you want to do that, I'll go grab the uh, stretcher. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Just hold on. We have a. We're gonna get you to Sandy. Three exit wounds shot five times. Jesus, Rescue one okay. central. Go ahead. Be advised, officers on scene are reporting they located an additional subject in the jail cells uh, down and bleeding. Turn for I'll go check them now. I've got an update for you. Uh, we have got three times, uh, sorry, two times deceased. We've got two times uh, priority one, one times priority two, and I'll go check with the other one now. Hey, they've got someone else down in the jail, so I'm just gonna go check them now. Come on, man. Let's right. be uh, back out of jail. Where well, you got someone down there? Oh shit! Sir, can you hear me?
Okay. Jail cells deceased. Go up the stairs, you fuck with. Okay. Yeah, like these guys got quite the gear. Uh, too. Jail cells deceased. Let's get, let's get this guy out. So let's get this guy. Let me move the bags out of the way. I'm coming, give me a second. Right, let's get him lifted and then um, you can check the other one. You ready to lift? Right. Yes. All right, one, three, two, gone. and three. Gotcha. Let's get him on. Yeah, you get him to Sandy now. I'll check the other. Gotcha. The other one in the jail is to see, so don't worry about him. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, I need the help with the CPR over here. Take a look, take a look. Uh, troop? I lost the trooper. Trooper, you still there? There we go. Let's get you back on. I don't know what that was about. All right, trooper, stay with us. We're at the hospital. I got one P1 over here. I need a doctor. Oh, I got a trooper here. Mobile GSW. I think it was three exits, two entry. Central status check. Weak pulse. Um, barely breathing. Still on scene, uh, treating one of the uh, suspects. Understood. Engine 2, Rescue 2, be advised, I am holding a call. Yeah, Rescue 1, be advised, I checked the subject in the jail cell, he's deceased. So that's another deceased. I've just tra transported one to Sandy Medical and I'm going back to transport another. So we'll be a good yeah. 10 minutes. Understood. Yeah. Please hurry, this guy is fading. Clearing now. Dispatch will be back in uh, like five minutes to check your status. I'll go ahead and Yes, I know the stretcher wouldn't go up the stairs, but we don't have any, uh, we don't have carry chairs in this server, so. Or any way of carrying people that's not with a stretcher. You still All got right, him? Let's get him on that now. Yeah, he, he's fake. Okay, we got bleeding under control and everything. You just want to transport him straight away? I know, bleeding's not under control, but we need to get him out. All right. Let's lift him. Uh, yeah. Go. Do you want to go feet? Uh, fucking no room in here. I'll go head end. I know. All right, I'm ready to go when you are. Lost Paul. All right. You ready? 
Yeah. All right. One, Different. two, and three. Lift. Lift. Okay, let's get some uh, hemostatic, hemostatic gauze whacked in these uh, wounds quickly before yeah. we get moving. There we go. Okay, the ones that I could see were bleeding the most. I've got uh, some hemostatic agent in there, so we'll get moving with them. Uh, other right. side. Oh, sorry, sir. Is there anybody else that needs checking? No, I think that's it up here. Okay, I'll check, see if there's anyone else. Okay. Fucking hell. Take the stretcher, you dick. Anyone else up here? Oh, yeah, so... I don't know why that doesn't work. There we go. Hey guys, I got another P1 over here. Alright, this gentleman's got multiple GSWs. I wasn't his primary treater, unfortunately. Um, believe there was uh, resus in progress at one point. Uh, we've got serious bleeding sites packed with hemostatic gauze. And that's all I know for now. Engine 2 from Rescue 1. You got anyone else over there that needs me? No, I think that's it. They're at your corner. Copy. We'll just check over double, head over double check. I've got another one back here. Sir, can you hear me? Behind at the rear that entrance. Yes, he's deceased. Oh, Temper, I thought Coroner had already arrived and taken the deceased one. He's supposed to have. Alright, uh, disregard them. Alright, if you can give me a push, I'm stuck. Got the engine stuck. I'm stuck on the flagpole. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, thank you. I'll probably pull them into the back of the lot. No. You guys are aware of anyone else so that, that needs us? Be fixed whenever um, I the don't think so. I better. think uh, I think it was everybody, just the uh, three officers and then I think the three subjects. Yeah, well, I think we took three and Corona took hey, three man. as well. Okay, cool. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, man, thanks for your help. Oh. Damn. Appreciate it. You're welcome.
Put the flashlight down, you dickhead. First UN engine 2 central uh, status check reference call holding. Just cleared off of the scene at the station now, so we're available. Or well, I'm available, so uh, rescue one. Engine 2 is available. Engine 2, rescue 1, 3027, route 1, motor vehicle accident with entrapment. Engine 2, rescue 1, 3027, route 1, motor vehicle accident with entrapment. Timeout, double 040. Engine 2 and route. Rescue 1 responding. Engine 2 and rescue 1 are responding at double 040. I'm eating crisps and driving. What could possibly go wrong? Pro prob probably, yeah. Hey, Doc, what's up? Hey, what's going on? How do I unlock that cabinet? Uh, you just unlock your uh, forward slash saw muscle. Hey, uh... Is she uh, responding to you? Yeah, yeah, he's over here, buddy. Oh, hey, sorry, my bad. Hey, I don't know if count B BCSO's lost, but, it, like, they just drove right by towards Polito, so I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Hey, sir, can you hear me all right? Yeah, man, I'm just in a lot of pain. All right, no worries. My name is Adam, one of the paramedics of Sundress Fire Risk, all right? We're going to get you out of there and we're going to get you some pain relief in no time. Um, right, what part of you pain. can't you move at the moment? I can't move my left leg at all. All right, let's have a quick look in there before we uh, do anything else. All 
Okay, so you said left leg is the one that's trapped behind the dashboard, yeah? Yeah, man. Okay. I, it was a really hard hit. Yeah, he's got a compound fracture. I can see it pushing against the skin. He's got some critical skin. Um, I'll get some cover on him if you want to start getting the door off. All right, so the current plan is um, because of the way that these doors are, even if we can get the door open, that still doesn't leave us enough room to play with. So we're going to have to cut the door off, right? All right, man, I figured the thing was totaled anyway. Yeah, it's not looking good, but it's in a normal car, we might have half a chance. But on this thing, there's the only way to do it. It's going to be able to uh, get it cut off. So I'm just going to get these blankets put over you here. The reason I'm putting these over is right. to protect you from any sparks. I'm also going to put these goggles on you, and I'm going to put this hard cover, which is a piece of plastic, just between you and the, the saw location, alright? Alright, all right. man. Just, um, going to be very loud for a minute while the uh, firefighter right. here cuts the door off, alright? Do what y'all gotta do. Rude. Okay, let's... Alright, there's the hinge. You got the hinge. There should be an E button that pops up. There we go. Yeah, there isn't. You got it? Yeah, there we go. Doors off. Oh, perfect. Oh. Uh. Under the... Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Oh, man, that leg's killing me. Okay, so right. look at him. All right, so we're just gonna get you flat on your back here. All right. I mean, that's your front, but <laughs> it's your thing, Pat. <laughs> that'll do. All right, that'll do for now. We'll uh, flip you over in a minute. Uh, okay, let's have a look at this leg. Oof. All right, let's just check some vitals first, and then we'll get you uh, get you patched up here. All right, man. Checks heart rate, BP. Says. Okay. Let's get the vacuum splint on this leg in a second. I'll just get him some pain relief first of all. All right. All right. So, what was your first name? Oh man, it's it's Cletus. Cletus. All right, Cletus. Do you have any uh, known reactions to any sort of drugs or medication of any kind? No, sir. Have you ever had any opiates before? Morphine, heroin? Uh, I had morphine when I broke my foot a few years ago. Okay. And didn't have any negative reaction to them. No, sir. Did it make you feel especially sick? No, not really. Okay, no worries. So, um, you got a broken leg. We can see that much, right? So, what we need to do is, before we get you to hospital, is we need to get it straightened so we can restore the blood flow down to your foot and down to the rest of your limb. Now that, I'm okay. not going to lie to you, is going to hurt like a bitch. So, what we're going to do before we go anywhere near that leg is we're going to get you a shit ton of good pain relief on board, all right? All right. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab your left arm here. So I just want you to give it to me. Keep it nice and relaxed. I'm going to get a, a line in because I'm going to get a little needle, a little IV into your arm. And then I'm going to pump you full of some good stuff, all right? All right, man, I hate needles, but I'll take anything at this point. Yeah, I understand. It's it, you With the pain you're in your leg, I doubt you'll even feel it. So just uh, give me that arm. Keep it nice and straight for me and try and relax. All right. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, three, two, one. Sharp scratch in the arm. Uh, lovely. Good job. Oh, wow. I barely felt that. Yeah, that's the distracting injury. Okay. What was his blood pressure like? Just a little bit elevated. Uh, 159 over 90. Okay. I mean, yeah. Not too bad considering. Um, okay. Let's get... Uh, so, so on the scale of 1 to 10, 1 being no pain at all, 10 being the worst pain you've ever experienced in your life, what sort of level are we at at the moment? Solid 9. Solid 9? All right. I'm going to start him off 8 milligrams morphine and then give him a big dose. Seems like he can handle it if he's had it before. Um, probably not going to have a... A nauseated reaction. Alright, so we're going to bit this morphine into you over the over a five minute period, but it should start uh, happening, uh, taking effect pretty quickly. The other thing we're going to do, is just for whilst we're moving your leg, is I'm going to give you some Entonox, which is nitrous oxide and oxygen. It's the same thing we give to uh, women that are in labour. So. All right. The way you take this is with your right hand, so with the, the arm, not the one with the, the uh, IV in it, the other one. I want you to gri grip this um, mouthpiece here, and you're just going to suck it All in. Right. It's going to make a weird sort of whistling noise when you suck it in. And um, the good thing about Entonox is it's very, it takes effect very quickly. So within sort of a few puffs, 5, 10, 15 seconds, you'll start feeling it. Might make you feel a little bit lightheaded, but it's really good pain relief. Um, but it also wears off very quickly, so you've got to keep it up, right? You've got to keep taking it in. So what All I want right. you to do is I'm going to start you on that now, and then we're going to take that in for about 30 seconds, and then I'm going to... We've got a vacuum splint around your leg. We're going to vacuum that, and that is going to straighten your leg, and that's the bit that's going to hurt. So I want you to take this from me, start sucking that in. That's it. So it makes a weird hissing noise, but that's fine. Just keep taking it in for about 30 seconds, and then... And um, we're going to start making some moves with your leg here. So if I vacuum, if you can just get a hand on each side of his boot, like yeah. round his ankle, and just as I splint it, I just want sort of general traction. Try and get that pop back right. in. Okay. Perfect. So how are we feeling on that interlock at the moment? What's that? How are you feeling? What's the, what's the pain like at the moment on scale of 1 to 10? Uh, solid, st solid 9 still, but it's getting better. All right. Yeah, that morphine will take a good few minutes, so we'll, get, we'll give that a chance to kick in. If you start feeling nauseated with that uh, morphine, you just let me know, all right? Because I've got some anti-emetic, got some anti-sickness I can give you. All right. So I haven't even been able to look at the chat for fucking ages. No, I'll just give it a minute. Let that morphine do its job. All right. I'm going to get another five ready. Yeah, that's starting to come down he's a, a bit. He's a big bloke, Same so I reckon he can half. take it. Okay. Yep. Press U1, engine 2, status check, and call holding. Press U1 on scene. We're actively treating the patient, hoping to leave scene within the next five minutes. Engine 2, status check. You can come away if needs be. The same. Right. I, I can, I can, I can leave, leave if I need, I need to leave, leave right, right now. now. Alright, yeah, if you All wouldn't right, man, mind you if I could pull you up for another call. That, leg, that morphine's real kicking in. Okay. Alright, uh, you, you can, can get, get one, one of the um, deputies, deputies to help you here. Yeah, that's fine. Wrong, wrong one. You can, you can get one of the deputies to help you here. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Green shirt or white shirt? Who wants to put a leg with me? Central engine two is clear. I can help you out. Right? Gonna pull a leg. What about pulling my leg? Engine two understood. Can I call it final? It's just basically when we uh, put the splint on, so we're gonna straighten it, and to do that, there's a little bit of pulling involved. Awesome. All right, deputy, All do right. me a favor. Get down uh, next to his uh, left leg here. Engine two three zero three zero. Okay, so how are we feeling at the moment on scale? I want to turn on that pain relief. It's a solid. 
Really okay, keep taking in that Entonox, all right? Before we do this, I want you to take in three really good breaths close together, all right? So I want you to go one, two, three. Like good, really full breaths, okay? All right. All right, do that for me now. Deputy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, vacuuming the splint. As I'm doing that, I want you to grip around his uh, ankle with both hands, one on each side of the boot. And as I start... Okay. Um, uh, vacuuming i want you to do a steady pressure towards you away from him just to traction that leg and we're trying to re restore circulation all right perfect all right so this is going to hurt like a bitch i said i wouldn't lie to you all right so keep taking that entonox in the deputy there is going to help you take that in you're doing really well all right all right all right deputy on three i'm going to start vacuuming and you start gently tractioning all right perfect all right one two free there we go a little bit more traction a little bit more traction perfect keep that up keep going you're doing really well sir oh that freaking hurts doing really well all right perfect you can release we should have it fully uh perfect pretty uh cool all right so we're done for now all right it looks like it's gone in nicely We've got good circulation in your foot again. Done really well. That's some some big balls moves, all right? Thanks, sir. Oh, yeah, sure. All right. What we're going to do is now, we're going to roll you onto your back. But before we do that, we're going to get a board on your right here. All right. That was just giving an example of what not to do. Of course. Obviously, a lot, any logical paramedic would do that. Yep. So. so we're going to place this um, board on the ground next to you, this scoop. What we're going to do is um, the All deputy right. is going to grab your side. The other deputy is going to grab your head. And I'm going to grab the foot. And we're going to roll you over onto this scoop. We're then going to strap you in, get you in the ambulance, get you to the hospital, and you'll be all sorted in no time. How's that sound? All right, man. Perfect. Nice and slow, boys. He's still got a decent amount of pain here. All right, no we're going to roll on three. One, two, three. Oh. There we go. Slowly onto his back and down. Perfect. Let's get him strapped in here. Let's get some head blocks on him. Okie dokie. These uh, blocks are just going to sit at the side of your head, so it's just keeping your head nice and straight just to uh, account for any possible spinal injury, right? Alright, yeah, those are kind of uncomfortable. But... Yeah, I know. It's a bit of a bitch, but um, it's better than uh, making an injury worse, right? Yeah, true. I'd like to be able to walk still. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I, I agree with that. Right, we're going to get you lifted up, all right? Uh, deputy's going to be on three. All right, one, it, Doc. two, three, lift. Perfect. And down on three. One, two, three, and down. Perfect. You guys need anything more from this gentleman before I get him transported? No, sir. If you could just have your dispatcher route a run number for a report over here just for the accident. at your convenience. No worries at all. All right, so how Thank are we feeling sir. in that pain at the moment? It hurt a good bit when you set me down, but yeah. I'm still doing okay, I think. Okay, we can we can top you up on the way if needs be. Just going to uh, get you in the ambulance, check your vitals one more time, and then we'll get you out of here, all right? All right. Good stuff. There we go. All right, perfect. The EMT is going to be in the back here. They can give you some more morphine on the way if needs be. All right, we're going to get you to... Um, I'm just trying to think, actually. Because of the femur fracture, it's going to have to be... You know what? Sandy Shores and Palito Bay are the same level these days. What? Where would you prefer to go? Where do you live near to? Uh, Palito's fine, man. I can have somebody pick me up. All right, sounds good. Now, really, this guy would need a major trauma center because he is got a f open femur fracture. But I don't want to have to take him all the way down to pillbox because that's annoying for him as a sieve. And he's already done a really nice 
He's already done a really good scene for us, and I don't want to do that. Thank you for your help, sir. No worries, that's what we're here for. Can't believe I hydroplaned like an idiot. Oh, I feel that. I've done that before. It's sketchy, man. All of a sudden, the roads are wet, and you're you're going for a ride. Yep, this is the way. Hey, Doc, back here. Could you give me another shot of that good stuff? <laughs> Alright, so I've got the uh, doctors on standby, so we'll get you in here and they'll get you sorted out nicely, alright? Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, well. This up and down burger's coming back up on me. Well, what the hell ever then? Hey guys, I've got the gentleman here that I alerted you about for the MVA. He has got a left open femur fracture. I just need to remember where your guy's emergency suite is. That's not the one, that's your lab. Was it in here? Here it is. I think this will do. Uh, if you're still on there, I'm going to get you off onto the hospital bed. Uh, maybe. Hello? Uh, okay. Hello? Oh, he turns zeroed. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Uh, no problem. Dropped you off. Ah, uh, Elite Medical. Uh, she needs to put stuff back on the stretcher. Uh, engine 2 from Rescue 1. You need a ambulance or you good? Sorry, say again. You need me or? Yes. No worries, sorry. Got, I have my got radio a turned got off. Yep, got someone here with a uh, broken leg. No worries, I'll be on route from Pilito Medical. Alright. Good God, job to job. I'm going to read the met the things for a second though. Rescue one responding. Polito. Medical. Right, what has been happening in the goddamn chat? 
need to go way back. What are you trying to be? <laughs> I don't believe Gregory. Maybe I do, I don't know. Don't look at the naked pictures in the iPad, Gregory. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm mean, here. I guess it's possible. I don't know. I don't want to say it's not possible. I mean, thanks for dropping in either way. I made the man crash. How's that my fault? What the fuck, man? I know Carlotte was going to bed. I saw a message hours ago. But, um... She just didn't go to bed, and that was a panic bun. Oh, I'm going to message Bradley. I'm backing up engine two, but can go to officer down instead if needed why don't i have any health We'll start to the engine two location, and then um, we can always Voice divert. Navigation is now on. We can always divert Starting to the officer route. down if they want me. Turn right. In one tenth of a mile, oh, that was turn a sign. left. How far are you out? Turn left. Continue straight. Uh, two and a half miles. A few minutes. Not well, Not even that. All right. Rescue one, central confirming you're available. Uh, rescue one, I'm currently backing up engine two for a guy with a broken leg, but if you need me for that officer down, I can come away. Uh, I'll leave it to your discretion. Yeah, I'll, I'll take good. the officer. This guy's good with county. Rescue one, I'll take the officer down as they've already got the engine on scene. You have arrived. Rescue one, nine two five Joshua Road, the officer down. Rescue one, nine two five Joshua Road, the officer down. Zero one zero seven. Rescue one's responding. Is it a safe to approach? And rescue one, scene is secure. You can roll right in. Time for responding. Nine two five. That was where I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. This is definitely slower than the Chevy. They've all been having a rough night. We had fucking four officers down at the last one. Do 
Jesus Christ. I was going to get bit by a mountain lion. I wrapped gauze around the leg. It's the left leg. Okay, I'll have a pretty deep bite. Is he awake and talking to you? Oh, yeah. Cool. Hey, Deputy, how you doing? Oh, well, well, I'm better, to be honest. No, continue. You guys are having quite the night. What's your name? Uh, my name's Tony. Tony, all right, Tony. Uh, mountain lion, right? Yep, just uh, came up yes, behind me. He didn't even have a chance, and he got me on my uh, leg there. Well, be which leg? Oh, it's uh, my right leg. Right leg. All right, let's have a look here. Okay. Gonna have to cut this, the uh, trouser leg here, all right, so I can get a better look at it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> PD scare. Sir, can you hear us now? Yeah, now I can hear you. I don't know what. We're All doing. right. Yeah. Sometimes not the best you, you person. Get that selective <laughs> hearing. Yeah, I, it's like I had to okay, turn it on and on and off. And on. Yeah, you can, uh, he's definitely he, uh, broken uh, the skin here, so unfortunately you're gonna have to go for some morning, some shots off, and stuff. Turn, back, turn your hearing aids off and back on again a couple of times. Yeah, it's probably for the best. He, uh, God knows. Uh, yeah, they got a pretty strong oh, bite. It's hard to tell right. whether anything's broken so what we're going to do at the moment is get the blood uh blood bleeding controlled and then we'll um get you wrapped up and get you to hospital okay oh, that yeah, yeah, works all right what's your uh, pain like at the moment a scale of one to ten uh well it's probably about a six to be honest okay packs any yeah, luckily he only, he only bit me once. He just bit me on the leg and then he leg. ran off. Just gonna have to rinse the uh, the wound here with some saline. It's not gonna, it's gonna hurt as so such. It's just gonna be cold, all right? Yeah, yeah, it's no gonna problem. Feel weird. Do whatever. Uh, it's just gonna to feel do. weird, that's all. Okay, let's get that in there. Okay. Cool. How many shots do you think I'm gonna need? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. The doctors be able to advise, but... Okay. Definitely They'll have to give you a shot. rabies one and then there's probably like tetanus and other stuff. I don't really know what they carry to be honest. They'll give you everything just to be safe. Alright, we got this wrapped up nice and tight. Looks like the bleeding's under control. Um, do you want a Tylenol or anything for the pain? Or I can give you something stronger? I, 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 you, I, to be honest, that should be okay. It's up to you. I mean, in Tylenol's, uh, it's not an opioid, obviously, so you can, you, it won't take you off a shift or anything. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a couple of those. 
All right, sounds good. Grab a couple. Oh, you gonna get in the children's Tylenol? <laughs> Just the normal stuff. I could give him the children's stuff, but I have to give him like five of them. Uh, okay. All right, uh, let me set you up. Perfect. All right, here is the time now. I've got a bottle of water here. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. All right. If it gets worse in transport or anything, uh, or it gets worse, the hospital just let us know. We can get you something stronger. We can get a line in and give you some uh, some IV stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, so, like I said, you need to go in for tests and some shots and stuff. Do you want me to take you in? Uh, uh sure, if you want. Yeah, I mean, you got to go in, so. All right, cool. Let me get the stuff off stretch. I'll get you a seat here. No need to lie down. You can just sit if it's more comfortable. So you take them to the hospital? Yeah, I got to go get some shots and stuff. He, uh, some rabies shots, I think. Yeah, he's going to get some shots right. and, like you said, rabies and stuff. And, um... They'll probably want to do an x-ray just to make sure that there's no broken bone in there as well. Because they I, can... I'll get your vehicle taken care of and uh, turn off your panic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's uh, let you do that. County 054. You should the officer be in transport to the emergency room. Can I get a tow to my location? All right, let's get you shuffled around so you're sitting on the back here. You're um, back against the stretcher. Other one. Other one. There we go. All right, let's get you loaded up. Proper mansplain, don't they? All right, let the EMT if you need anything more on the way to the hospital, right? All right, sounds good. All right, mansplaining. Uh, transporting one, cry free to Sunnysaws Medical. playing for like 16 hours yeah i think you probably need to go to bed good nightings i'll be longer <laughs> nearly good night good night good night sounds weird well what's up got method in system you know give him some uh, fucking knock in As if there's actually a strain of weed called fentanyl. That's not confusing. Yeah, I didn't even break money. That was the uh, 
That was the autopilot script. Not a fucking autopilot. What time is it? Um, cruise control script that brake braked for me there. Fucking autopilot. Alright, let's get you in. It's where as hell out here. Alrighty. Alright, let's get you up on the hospital bed and then one of the nurses will be in a second to uh, get you sorted. Alright, cool. Alright, hope uh, hope everything come back alright. Yeah, thanks man. See ya. Are we ready? Are we ready? I guess we'll go, um... There we go. Fucking paternity test. Earlier. Oh yeah, I was looking at Google. About what the Tylenol with the codeine's called. Break it, break it, break it down. Ah, yeah, well, I don't think they sell it anymore. Not on their website. Um, let's add some brand names onto my little drugs document. Always be better, always be better. Well, I don't even know whether... I don't know what I stuck my dick in apparently money because, you know, who knows? I mean, we've all... I think we've all done that one one time or another. But the other ones you've got to make even more sure that you're wrapping up on. Don't want to risk that.
yeah sorry for messing up the plan with that one but uh next weekend i'll be around if you want to do it then i would be i would happily take part myself but the issue is if you're doing it during leo then i try not to drink during leo or at least not you know more than a drink because leos are meant to be you know the serious ones on server aren't they so Civ and Fire MS not so much Fire MS but Civ you, you, you can fuck about with Even say a set, a set a minifin, a set a set, an, a set a minifin. Now you gotta complicate everything. Three of you provided different pronunciations there, so I'm going to Google it. Also, what do you guys call ibuprofen? You have a fucking dumb name for ibuprofen as well, don't you? Oh, Advil. There you go. In Advil. Acetaminophen. 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 So it is exactly how it looks. Acetaminophen. 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 <laughs> Google has both American and British pronunciations. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. And then the correct one. Acetaminophen. There you go. Oxycodone? Yeah. We don't really use oxycodone as uh, in the US and the UK. We, like, obviously we use opioids for treatment of pain, but I don't think I've ever seen someone with oxycodone or a prescription for uh, oxycodone. Isn't that the one that gets so many people hooked on fucking opiates? Isn't that the one that caused, like, the whole fucking opiate disaster in the US? Because doctors were just prescribing him, like, way too easy.
Motrin. Yeah, I know uh, Advil's the brand name. I know you guys like to use brand names for shit for some reason. Do 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 do. Tylenol freeze, yeah. Cocodamol. Yeah, it's oxy, on, oxycontin or oxycontin or whatever the fuck you say. AKA oxy. Yeah, I, ibuprofen is uh, is definitely the, the the it will fix everything drug. I mean, it's, it's a pretty damn good drug, to be honest. It's an analgesia, uh, and it's uh, anti-inflammatory, which is why the military like it so much. Because if you know people's got, they've got st stuff that's inflamed from doing military things. Um, and it's an antipyretic as well, so it reduces your fever. Is um, the issue is with ibuprofen is that it shouldn't be used long term because it has uh, can have bad effects on your stomach. I think your stomach lining. I think it can fuck with if you use it a lot. Which is why generally you should avoid it for long long-term stuff. Is it liver? I thought it was your stomach lining. It might be your liver. Dual action Advil, ibuprofen, uh, acetaminophen, yeah. Um, that's proven to be more effective than uh, codeine. Oh, it must be liver then, yeah, if that's what your dog said, yeah. Yeah, there was, um, there was trials done over here about, uh, the effectiveness of... Because taking paracetamol and taking ibuprofen, aka Tylenol and, um, Advil together, that's a, a pretty common thing over here. And, uh, they did some, uh, trials on it and it proved to be more effective than taking codeine. Which is obviously an opiate. Why isn't that door open? Oh. There's a vending machine in the way. Liver issues, yeah, that makes sense. That would be why your doctor said not to use it then. I think it's, I think it probably still can fuck with your stomach lining. I think taking too many pills of any kind, um, I think there's certain drugs that can fuck with your stomach lining. I'm sure, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's not ibuprofen as I thought. to use for a fire truck? Is that a question or just me confused? 
locations only available in pharmacies and special drugs have to be prescribed by the I think that's the same everywhere, isn't it? Although, uh, you, oh, you mean you can't go into like a supermarket and buy, you know, like uh, paracetamol? Like you can't even get off the shelf stuff? Yeah, alcohol will be used combined with uh, Motrin use or whatever that drug is. I'm broken. Makes sense. Can you get almost anything over the counter? Why does that not surprise me? I'm not being funny, but there's not much point restricting too many things in Mexico because if someone can't get it at a shop, they're just going to get it very easily illegally, aren't they? So. Yeah, that's the same here. Some stuff you can't buy, get off the shelf. You have to get over the counter from the pharmacist. For example, Cocodamol. You can get that over the counter, I think, from a pharmacist, as long as you speak to the pharmacist, I believe. Niacin? Never heard of it. Opioid or not opioid? Right, let's slow down here for a minute, but there's plenty of people still on, so hopefully we'll get something here shortly.
Digging the soundtrack. Nice. This one or the last one? Or just in general? This one, if you care, is uh, by Mind Me. If I could, I would. Mm -hmm. In general? Oh, cool. Thanks. B -b 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 Money. See you later, dickhead. Sleep well. Oh, my hammer's just smoking. Uh, the engine has gone offline, so we are going to spawn some of our own vehicles. We'll have an engine and we'll have a squad. That way we've got a nice little coverage of things. We've got an engine for any fires related stuff. And then we'll have a squad truck for... We'll have the squad truck and the ambulance for any EMS stuff. Actually, I'm doing these the wrong way around. So the squad truck is super long. So we'll put that in the right hand bay. the Los Santos livery so we need the Blaine County livery and then we'll put this on the right hand side one because it's the biggest are we stuck right now what are you <laughs> are we stuck right now <laughs> The truck is so long. Tail got stuck. Oh no. Alright, there's only one thing to do. There you go. The power of water. So, we've got more clearance, I think, if we go this way. Oh, good God. Okay, how are we going to leave this thing? Can we fit under here? No. We're just going to have to go at a proper angle. So, if we leave, we're just going to have to go... Super wide cross angle like this. There you go. And then when we're backing in, we're going to have to do it at a proper angle as well, like this. There you go. Nailed it. Oh my god, it doesn't even fucking fit because the door won't open. 
Open! Bro, are you serious? Am I gonna have to F9 it in every fucking time? So fucking big. There you go. It's just a bit. She's a bit snug. She's a little bit snug in the back. Oh, we're being called. Station to uh, your discretion on apparatus to respond with. 954 Smoke Tree Road, motor vehicle accident with uh, vehicle fire, minor injuries. Station 2, 954 Smoke Tree Road, motor vehicle accident with vehicle fire and minor injuries. Time out here, 146. Yeah, received uh, engine 2 responding. You can show me just station 2 generally. Engine 2 responding, and I'll show uh, Station 2 fully staffed. So if it was just the MVA, we would take the uh, this this bad boy, or we'd take the ambulance, but there's a vehicle fire, so the only one of these that can actually fight fires is the fire truck. So... Starting your route, turn right onto Lolita Avenue. Turn right onto Algonquin Boulevard. Turn left onto Panorama Drive. Continue straight. In one tenth of a mile, turn left. Turn left. Continue straight. Oh, shut up. Voice navigation is now off. I always face it the wrong way. The pumps are on the other side. Why are your pumps on that side? Uh. Now remember, Matt, put the wet stuff on the hot stuff. You can do firefight. You know how to firefight. You're all good. You got this. Put the fucking door closed. Okay. Wet down all this brush so it doesn't spread. There's nobody in there, so.
Try not to spray too much directly at the car because it doesn't move them. Like that. Because the water is unbelievably powerful for some reason. Extinguished. Pop the hood open. these people I think so right let's take our SCBA off um, put the other shit away see if he needs medical Hey, so are you in the car? Yeah, I was driving. You okay? Any injuries at all? Uh, just some minor cuts and bruises. I'll, I'm fine. Did you inhale any smoke at all? No, I, I exited the vehicle before it's caught fire. Alright, no worries. Um, I think we're done with the car. I've looks pretty good. Had to pop the uh, the hood open and get that all extinguished down. Um, that's probably oh, going right. to be a write-off, to be honest. If that wasn't already obvious. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right. Um, you guys need anything else from me? No, I don't. Deputy? Yep. You need anything else from me? Uh, no, I think that'd be just about it. All right. If you get any concerns or your injuries, I'm sorry, obviously, the, go to uh, the nearest hospital, which will be Sandy Shores or call 911, all right? Yeah, I will. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Alright, Mr. Williams, I do have a couple questions for you. Have you smoked? We be putting out fires like the firemen do. <laughs> Alright. Bing, 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 fucking bing. We get it. You're a, you're a vehicle, you bing, bing, bing. Uh, right. Presky to Central. Shannon, what's up? Engine to Central. Go ahead for engine two. Status track. Uh, just clearing off now. Understood. Uh, stand by for call sign. It's going to be a uh, rescue call specifically. If you uh, can start code towards the station. Devil.
crested to 3037 in Roxwood. Motor vehicle accident with injuries. Rescue to 3037 in Roxwood. Motor vehicle accident with injuries. Time out here, 156. Yeah, rescue two copies. Any entrapment at all? I was not advised of any entrapment. I will double check though. Several, well, thank you. I'm just arriving back at uh, the hospital now. I'll start into the rescue. Understood. I'll be right back. If there's entrapment, we'll take the squad. If there's not, we'll take the rescue. Ah, oh, sorry, I missed the uh, chat there for a bit. And rescue two, uh, confirm negative entrapment. If you can uh, continue as rescue two. Yeah, Tampa Woody. Leaving uh, station two now. Rescue two is responding. Zero one fifty seven. Uh, swipe the gloves off for now. Don't need the bag. And uh, be advised, I think the GPS may route you to thirty thirty eight, but it's going to be three zero three seven. Three zero three seven. Harborview. Uh, I can't see the streets on my map. Oh, Temple, are they just on the road or a, a property, do we know? Unknown, uh, it was at the conclusion of a pursuit, so they were kind of busy and just quickly called for medics. Yeah, no problem on it. Understood. Okay. We're just going to delay our response a little bit. What's up, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> that was the squad, yeah. Oh, there was actually a station that was a truck too big? Damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 800k, fucking hell. Couch Nugget, what's up? Hose me down, daddy. Good God. Okay. No, I am. Um, Doing great. Good shit. Join this British bus, crashing into things, putting out fires. Putting out fires, yes, crashing, no. So, you know. Lies. Don't lie to me. All right, Brady will be looking at the live map right now, going, why is he not moving? So we'll get a move on. Let's get going to Roxwood. Don't do that, you little fuck. Start this song, gonna like it. Need some tunes for the drive. Still that sounds weird while too. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> Fucking highway patrol, Jesus Christ. Loads of them. Heartbreaker. 
We're pushing this ambulance 100 miles an hour. But now we're on a hill, so it's 99, 98, 97. It is indeed 7 a.m. It's by Deans, D-E-A-N-Z, and it's called She's a Heartbreaker, unsurprisingly. Nothing to say here. Yes, Dean's with a Z. Beans, yeah, D's nuts. <laughs> Dean's nuts. Get it. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, bravo. Oh, uh, this guy got yeeted from his car. Oh. And you know how like your foot's forward? Yeah. Yeah, his foot's backwards. Oh, okay. I know you're not a medic, but just say why that's bad. Yeah, I'm not a medic, and I just kind of figured, you like, based how, like, two plus two equals fish, that yeah. that might be a problem. Yeah, yeah. All right, I love it. Well, it sounds like we got just the guy for the job. Hey, so how we doing? Oh, uh, okay. I've okay. Been better. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Um, so uh, you were rejected from where? Uh, my car. Which is currently... It's over... I don't know. It's I, over there, buddy. It's out. That okay, way? It's my, wife, my ex-wife's car. Oh, damn, she can be pissed. Yeah. All right. So you rejected from there. You landed here. Uh, have we awake throughout, or did you lose consciousness? No, still? no. I no. They drugged me over here. Dragged. They drugged you over here. Dragged. Dragged you over I, here. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um. And you were awake throughout, or? Uh. Yeah. Unfortunately. Okay. Well, what's hurting right now? Yeah, 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 yes. What is hurting? Yeah. What What is the most painful area right now? I would say what is probably the most painful area in San Andreas. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna look over you right now. Give me a second. Okay. I don't know why you're acting so weird. Ah. Oh, I haven't touched anything. I'm just looking. Don't worry. Dean's nuts. <laughs> I'm a comedian. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we definitely got some issues, sir. Um, primarily being what looks like a fractured and or dislocated neck of femur. Which is your hip? Mm -hmm. Um, your arms possibly fractured as well. What are we looking like on a pain score at the moment? One being the uh, one being nothing, ten being the worst you've ever had in your whole life. Oh, I would definitely say one is at an absolute fifteen. Yeah, that, I mean that makes sense. Uh, before I even try and do much more, I'm going to get some pain relief on board because even cutting away your okay. cutting away your pants to get a better look at your leg, even that's going to cause severe pain. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna use this arm here So I want you to give me your left arm. Just leave it where it is. Don't do anything for me I'll just take it keep it nice and relaxed and still for me. Do you have any right. um, any allergies to anything at all? 
Um, yeah, uh, I'm allergic to shellfish. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm allergic to uh, squid. Um, okay, that's yep. Yeah. I'm allergic to um, certain types of hay. I, um, okay. Certain pollinators. Mm -hmm. uh, bees. Yep. Um, I'm allergic to. Um, I think everyone's a allergic certain to bees. type. What? No worries. Got yep. Certain type of. Okay. Uh, um. Uh, certain type of. Uh, lost my train of thought. Um, Are you allergic to any medication? Medication. Um, I mean, I once had expired uh, uh, antibiotics and I got all hivey. So okay, so possibly penicillin. Um, um, I, got, I got lactose intolerance. Okay, well, I'm not too worried about that. Um, yeah, have you? I, I take a lactate every time I drink my my raw milk. You're okay. We're not going to touch the raw milk thing for now. Do you have? Have you ever had any pain relief before, whether it be prescription or non? Oh yeah, I was a serial opioid opioid user. Oh okay, well that answers my next question. So you don't have any uh, adverse reactions to opioids? No, I I crave it actually. I okay. haven't, haven't had it in a few years. Okay, well we're not going to go anywhere near that. Um, have you ever had any non-opioid painkillers such as uh, acetaminophen, uh, ibuprofen? Yeah, yeah I, I pretty much damaged my kidneys from having so much. From ibuprofen? Yeah. Okay, we'll avoid that as well then. Uh, have you ever had uh, nitrous oxide? No. Okay. The plan is, we're quite limited on what we can give you. But the first thing I'm going to do is get an IV in and I'm going to give you a, a gram of uh, IV uh, acetaminophen, aka Tylenol. Okay. Um, okay. Now you've probably had Tylenol before, it probably doesn't seem too strong, but when it's via the IV, IV route, especially for traumatic injuries such as these, we find it uh, quite effective. All right. So we're going to get that on board, and then we're going to start you on some Entonox, which is nitrous oxide, and oxygen, which is what we give to pregnant women. I'm well, not, not, pregnant. not specifically pregnant women, am but I, women giving birth. I'm not pregnant, am I? I don't think. You're not currently in labor as far as I can tell, so, so I won't worry okay. too much. It's just... I was just honestly, giving you an example of the kind of situations where we use this drug. To be completely honest, if anyone's pregnant here, I'd say it's you. Okay, well, let's not get personal, sir. We're just trying to help you. Oh, I just was, I just, I wasn't trying to be I mean, offensive. I just was saying mm -hmm. you look like you could be. Okay, interesting. Um, right. Yeah, give me the, uh, give me your arm there. Stay nice and still for me. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie, right. So, uh, is, is he pregnant, Matt, or...? Uh, not that I can tell, but without an ultrasound, there's no way to know. So, do you have a womb? Right, right. Huh? Do you have a womb? No. No, he's not pregnant. Okay, I'm just, just curious. Alright, sharp scratch, three, two, one. There we go. Let's get that bad boy in. All right, let's get that secured. All right, perfect. Deputy, you do me a favor and just hold this bottle for me. You got it, boss. Thanks. Accept aminophen infusion. Okay, let's get that going, sir. Um, and then let me grab you some Entonox over here. <laughs> All right, sir. So with the Entonox, let me sh move here so I can show you. What it basically is is a mouthpiece attached to a bottle. It looks a lot like an oxygen bottle, but instead of oxygen, it's 50% oxygen and 50% nitrous oxide, all right? So what I need you to do is with your other arm, so your right, uh, actually which, oh, I should probably check which arm was broken. Don't want you moving anything, hang on a second. I know one of your arms was looking not great. Yeah, it looks like it's your right one. Okay, well use your left arm, just- um, yeah, see, I'll wait for you, bro, get better. Someone's shouting at you. Um, 
so. So you hear me? I think we're losing them, Doc. Might want to shock them. Uh, well, let's let's calm now. So can you hear me? Oops. Uh, Sir, so, can you hear me? Shh, you're all tuckered out. You're tired. Okay. okay. Just, just, just let go. Sir, so, can you hear me? Just let go. Okay. Just go. Don't just go. let it go. Right, you're not helping. I'm just trying to be supportive. Okay. Has he taken anything? Him? Yeah. All, all I've given know. him is a set of anything. There's no, it's not, it's a non drowsy drug. Have you, has he, did he have any, he said he was an addict previously. Did he have anything on him? Uh, I mean, not that I'm aware of. Well, I'm going to check his pockets here. Hey, Paul. Hello. So, Toe picked up the vehicle. Um, I advised the Department of Ag about the uh, contents. They're going to be coming to pick it up. It's just sitting over there on the grass right now. Oh, you're a legend, dude. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and clear out of here. Unless you need anything. All right, let's get some vitals nope. from him. Right, I'm man. just uh, I'm just helping FD here, but uh, you have a good one, man. Yeah, you as well. Take care. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and um, just press that button on the life pack there. Get a set of vitals for me. Yeah, no, no worries. Yeah, yeah, whatever you need. Okay, cool. Um, he hasn't got anything on him, so I don't think it's. Uh, he might he might have a low blood pressure, so we're gonna check that if he's got internal bleed or something. Uh, meanwhile, let's get a splint ready. Oh, I need a pelvic binder. All right, let's get this pelvic binder on him. Um, just do me a favor and help me with roll, uh, sort of sliding this underneath him. I don't want to roll him, but we'll just oh, seem sure, to sure. lift his middle mid back here. Yeah. Just a little piece of material. Okay, cool. All uh, right, it's not a traction splint. Um, pelvic binder. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna splint his leg because it's not the right way, so that's not gonna help. Um, I am just gonna get him some TXA and then we're gonna get him the hell out of here. Uh, Sounds good. Oh, this guy, uh, my phone. So you're gonna be alright, right? Uh, alright, alright, alright. Oh, yeah, that's shit. gonna hurt like a bitch, I'm not gonna lie to you. The sun's getting low. The sun's getting low. Shh. God. Oh, I yeah, the sun means. is getting low. Yeah, it's a beautiful sunset. Anyway. Um, he's not awake enough to use the interlocks. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I see yeah, the sun. Maybe you just want to load him up on the gurney and get him out of here? Or? I see the moon. Yeah, I'm just going to give him some TXA transdynamic acid to uh, try and clot any internal bleeds, and then we'll get him out of here. I'm going to say okay. But I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what any of that shit is. Cool. Uh, shit. Oh, wow. Uh, tran... Tranexamic. What? Okay. All right, uh, do me a favor and just grab that uh, scoop from the stretcher. You can put the bottle down now, it's empty. All right, no problem. Here we go. All right, good shit. Um, it's going to be difficult because his leg's facing the wrong way. I've got a track uh, pelvic split on, so it's going to hold it all together. Whoa, whoa. He's a feisty one. <clears throat> um, shit. What? What's he doing? Uh, he was doing a 360 like no scope kind of thing. I don't know. Oh damn. Okay. Um. Cool. So, what was I saying? Yeah. So we're gonna get him on the scope. We just have to be careful with him because his legs facing the wrong way, and I can't correct that. I've just got it binded 
bound at the moment, so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, but yeah, we'll just run him onto his back, get him strapped in, and get him the hell out of here. Sounds good, boss man. All right, cool. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's roll him towards me. I'll roll him towards me, and you can slide that bad boy underneath, right? You got it, boss. All right, on three then. All right. All right, one, two, three, roll. Get that bad boy yeah. under there. There we go. Yeah. Down on three, one, two, three. Get that shit clipped uh -huh. in. Let's get him strapped up. <laughs> Okay, dokey, right. I'll get the hey uh, foot end if you're ready. Okay, on three. One, two, three, lift. Perfect. Let's get him over down here onto the stretcher. All right. Get him the hell out of here. You need anything else from him? No, sir. Cool. Um, I don't know. We'll probably go to. Uh, we'll go Pilly. I don't want to take him all the way to Pilly. Well. Alright, so the EMTs in the back are going to take good care of you. We're going to get you to the hospital now, alright? You're going to be alright. Again, needs a major trauma center because he's got a fully fucking fucked pelvis. Enough. Let's see if I hopefully don't crash someone again. Alright, so we're going to get you in the hospital, man. When was it? Works. Hi guys, um, this gentleman was uh, involved in a ejection MVA. Couldn't quite get how far he was ejected, but it was a decent distance. He has uh, got a full 180 degree rotation of his uh, right leg. He is reduced GCS after about five minutes on scene. Treatment wise, I've got a 18 gauge IV uh, in his left arm. I've given him uh, a gram of uh, a gram of TXA and a gram of paracetamol and we've just got a pelvic binder on vitals look uh, okay alright boys let's get him uh, moved over oh my god shit yeah and down on the bed cool alright so I hope you feel better uh, Hope your leg's not the wrong way around anymore. Put the stuff back on. Mm-hmm. 
Flushy, flushy. Two plus two equals fish, yeah. Basic maths, come on, man. Get with it. Oh, hey there. I always want garlic bread. Poor fella. Should be ashamed if that ambulance rolled. I, I mean, it wouldn't happen because obviously I'm such a uh, advanced and excellent in every way driver. In fact, I can't remember the last time I had any sort of motor vehicle accident. Sean R in the back. Dang local. Yeah, those locals, man. Damn locals doing their thing. Uh, one time's transported to Palito Medical. Cry one. Leg facing wrong way. Not good. Acetaminophen. Acetamin. I'm getting a lot of acetaminophen today. No way, just morphining it up. Do do do. I'm not gonna give her a recovering fucking opioid addict morphing. To station two it is, I guess. One transported to Palito Medical, returning to Station 2 available. Rescue 2 and service returning to 402 30, correction 25. 10 4, 30, 25. 0 2 25. What the f? Huh? What the fuck? Okay. I guess that's fine. Have a good night, Matt. See ya. See ya. 
I'm on go, go. I don't stay long. I've been up now. That's the case, right? I've been down too. Like this day's strong. I got summer toys for the summer boy. I keep drumming boys in the summer boy. I keep making noise. I've been paranoid. <laughs> See you later below the waterline. You can never boy. I don't miss. I don't play none. I don't miss. I don't say none. Thanks for being here. Appreciate ya. I'm gonna ignore that red light for a second. Cool. Some gasolina. I don't play none. I own this. I don't say none. I go switch. That's the name one. I stay with no A1. Tell the chef, I said thanks. Tell the tell I'm in the bank. Tell my mom I'm living good. Tell my kids don't stress a thing. I go back to back on the drops. Drop a lot and she packed the bags. Shot till we drop. What's that crackhead doing back there? Crackhead things, I suppose. Ah, oh, fucking pump's not working. Damn it. Oh, now the stretcher won't. Oh, there we go. I'm, I've, I'm giving up fuel luck in the ambulance. Is there any dispatch left yet? Bradley's still on for now. Bye, bye. Back from my nap, love. Gunshot, right? Not imagining that, am I? Meh. Attention all units. Dispatch operator 110. We out of service for the evening. Good night. Thanks for all your help. Goodbye. Love you. Love you more. Back from my nap, I love beans. That's a really interesting statement to say there, Doc. Uh, back from my nap, hashtag I love beans. Interesting. I mean, I agree. Just didn't expect that from you. Thanks, though. Brady is now offline, as you probably just heard. Look what you've done. You're talking to me or Mr. Council Beans. I didn't do anything. I didn't do nothing.
Jesus Christ! Fucking Fallujah! Oh? Uh, hello? Um, a little birdie tells me we'll have something here to do in a minute. So we'll do this last call and then we'll probably head off. God is crushed. Yeah, the paternity test was a while ago now. Nine one five route sixty eight for a possible mental health. Yeah, no worries. Nine one five route sixty eight. Right, you're gonna be responding for a possible mental health or possible burglary in progress. Caller stated he doesn't feel good. Wouldn't go into in depth on that. Said he did not take any medications or narcotics recently. Uh, says that he keeps seeing people in his uh, the corners of his vision in his home. Described it them as a white male wearing a hoodie nothing besides that um he is still in the residence 10 we got leo responding as well affirmative i have a deputy in round i'm about to start another 10 i'll start that way now Receive. a mental health episode i wish we got more many articles i get i, I understand they're sensitive subjects though it's just like IRL, we get so many calls for mental health stuff. It's cool to have them. Obviously, there's a, there's a way to do a mental health call without it being bad. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, if you do a mental health call and then the ambulance rolls up and you just go, yes, I'm feeling suicidal, I want to kill myself. Like, there's not really much you can do with that, but... Acting crazy, that's, um, that's more fun, or, you know, acting, uh, like a bit of psychosis in there or something, I'm, I'm all about that. You're having a boy without knowing the mum? Yeah, literally. Exactly, and it's a bit too close for home for a lot of people. But there is a way you can do a mental health call and make it fun. As weird as that sounds.
a Leo on scene, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Crystal. Good example. Nerves. You know what? We're not going to take the stretch over right now. We'll just take a med bag. Uh. Uh. Oh, hey, sir, how you doing? I'm okay, how are you? Good, were you just talking to the deputy over here? Yeah. Where's he gone? Uh, inside. He's oh, is he just checking the property guy. out? Yeah, he's trying to find the guy in the house. Do you mind if I have a chat with you? Yeah, sure. Cool. Uh, so what's been going on today, man? Uh, I've just... I was home. Been home for a few minutes. Um, we're trying to renovate this place. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's an old rundown shack it's got i don't know kind of a messed up history i guess but we're trying to mm. flip it and sell it uh uh you know it's a flipped house mm -hmm. um so i just was here trying to do some work on the place and i, I swear i just kept seeing somebody like, out of the corner of my eye i just kept turning around and he was there and i tried to find him and i i i, I got freaked out i just wasn't i'm just not feeling good man Gotcha. Yeah. Do you want to? It's killing me. Do you want to come yeah. take a seat over here and we can? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let me have a seat in one of these chairs over. Oh, All right. Yeah. So, um, my name is Adam. I'm a Paramedic, San Andreas Fire Rescue. Um, All right. So, when did you start uh, seeing these people in your in your home? I don't know. Twenty minutes ago. You never seen them before? Um, no. Okay. I mean, no. Yeah, but we've only I've only had the property for. I mean, I've only started working on it for a few days. Gotcha. And I mean, we, before this yeah. place, did you ever have any similar no. visions or anything? No. Okay. Hey, buddy, we cleared it. There's nobody here. And I swear, he's, I swear I saw him. When was the first time you saw him? Uh, sorry, say that again. That's right. When was the first time you saw him? Uh, I, I mean, I just saw him like 20 minutes ago, and I swear I saw him a couple times after that, and it got to the point where I, I mean, like, I, I, I swear I saw him on the stairs, and I grabbed my. I grabbed the shotgun because I, I, the only thing I can use to, like, yeah. God, uh, just worry about squatters, man. You know, I just, I just got this property. Yeah, of course, that's fine. Um, okay, no worries. Um, so the first time was yesterday, is what you said? No, today. Today. Twenty minutes ago. Oh yeah, right. Okay. So before this property, never had anything similar. No. Okay, no worries. Um, do you mind if I ask uh, if you got any medical history at all? Um, I mean, I've got cholesterol, but that's that's it. Yeah, no. Um. Uh, no issues with cancer or no uh, neurological issues, mm -hmm. so no brain issues. No. No. Okay. Um. Well, I'd like to get a set of vitals from you if I can. Just make sure you haven't got uh, an infection or anything that's making you, you know. Have to see, okay. see something that's maybe not there. Yeah. You know, I'm okay. not saying there was never anybody in there, but we just want to obviously rule out everything, yeah. right? I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling better, man. I I think I just was panicked because there's someone there, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, no worries. I think I, I think I was just panicking. Okay. There's um. Do you have? So I can, I'm just looking in, I can see. There's no, there was no like 
smell of chemicals or anything in there. I can just see a few things on the shelves in there. You haven't been using any strong cleaning products or anything? Uh, no. No? I haven't. Okay. I haven't, right. I haven't started. I've just been... No, like, no, that's fine. Power. We don't even have power yet, you know? We're just, oh, okay. We don't, right. we, don't, we don't have city power, you know? We're just run off our own and like you know we're just we're trying to run out of the place a little bit you know okay i was gonna get some vials from you i'm just gonna put this blood pressure cuff on your arm here um okay. and i'm gonna just pop this little uh probe on your finger you've probably had it before okay. the doctors the the cuff will go really tight around your arm it's just gonna give me some information about um your blood pressure and and the flow of it and everything and then yeah, obviously yeah. the thing on your finger is gonna give me some information about your your blood oxygen and things like okay. that all right yeah, look, man, I'm I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not feeling dizzy anymore. I'm feeling. No, that's all right. Feeling... But if he comes in waves, we still need to try and investigate, him, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look here. It's got the monitor down here. So your heart rate is a little bit high. Just is go slowing down. That's probably obviously just because you're a little bit uh, anxious, which is absolutely normal. Um, nothing to worry about. Um, have you recently right. had um, uh, a fever or anything like that? Any any colds? No. Have you been feeling under the weather generally? No, I was. I mean, I was short of breath inside, but I'm not. I mean, I had short of breath. You know. You're a little bit short of breath inside. Yeah, but I think I just, I mean, I just feel like I was panicking, man. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I, I just, yeah, it's getting like, I don't know. It was just, it was intense, man. I was like tunnel vision and I just, uh, I think I was okay. just panicking. I think I'm okay. All right. Um, when you had the difficulty breathing and you obviously spoke to 911, did you come outside after that point? Uh, I came outside a few minutes ago. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, when, they, when, they got, when they got here. Yeah, of course. All right. Um, I, the only thing I want to do is, with it being a bit of a rundown property, um, I just want to make sure there's nothing. Whether it be a combination of cleaning fumes or uh, gas, maybe. Um, make sure there's no gas leaks or anything. Um, I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna ask for one of the county engine units to come down here. Um, okay. They've got a device that they can take in uh, and it can basically just test the air to see if there's any pollutants or anything in there that could be causing any issues, all right? Like, what does it measure? Like, what is it looking for? Honestly, I, I forget the, na the exact name of the of the device, um, but it, it basically tests for everything. So it can tell you if there's just general, you know, like gas, so like the sort of gas you comes out your cooker. You can test for uh, carbon dioxide. I could test for any sort of. Um, I think it's got a, it's got a wide range of chemical, um, like odorless chemicals that it can test for as well, like odors okay. that have come from chemicals. Yeah. Okay. I, so I think I'm I think I'm okay, man. But okay. Yeah. Just just to rule it out. Um, and then obviously we'll um, get out your hair. So I've got one of them coming down okay. now. All right. Um. Yeah. Just give us a few minutes, right? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why can't I remember the name of the device? Fucking okay, hell. That's what you're saying. Did you really sleep through the whole screen? Oh, yeah, I already talked about that, yeah. Said he didn't wrap the wheeling. I did. 
gonna get close close home for some reason. Oh yeah, carbon oxide poisoning, yeah. Exactly one of the options that I was thinking of. Cause hallucinations? Yeah. It, it, more cause you'd be generally unwell, but I, I I'm sure that if you took in enough of it that could be a side effect. Alright, the um, guy's just in there now, just running the, uh, All right. the gas detector around, just to make sure there's nothing to be worried about, right? Okay. Um, do you yeah. have what? your, like, natural gas turned on in this place, so I can see you've got a cooker at the back there? Yeah, I don't know about the natural gas. I, don't, I haven't, I mean, I really messed with that much. Okay, you don't know if they're, like, turned on, because they normally have, like, a main yeah. valve somewhere underneath, like, in the no, I, yard or something. I don't know, man. Oh, no worries. I haven't, yeah. Still feeling all right? Yeah, this place just has weird energy, man. When I'm inside, I just I feel really weird. Generally? You know, just, yeah, I just feel uneasy. At least, at least lately, you know? Because I really started to work on this place. I, I just feel like it doesn't like me, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, let me speak to the guy. Yeah, go ahead for uh, rescue one. Apologies, rescue two even. Uh, yeah, engine four, that's all received. Thanks for your help. I'll uh, feel free to go tonight. Um, cool. So the uh, the generator downstairs. How long have you been running yeah. that for? Um, uh, yesterday, anyway, before they started working on the place, you know, we don't have city power. Yeah, so, gotcha. Yeah. Um, so Why? the whether well, they just went down with a five gas meter and uh, it is picking up high levels of uh, carbon monoxide. Now, uh. that's probably because you've got a generator down there, which is uh, obviously producing that. And in a confined in, in, in open air, that would be fine. But in a confined space like a building and especially at your underground, I think you've got like a basement or something, right? Yeah. And that sort of confined area with no windows. That's what's possibly what's causing your symptoms here, because there are, there are unhealthy levels in the building. Wait, really? But I, but like, I, I mean, I'm supposed to get power in the build. Like, people use generators for power all the time. Generators, yeah, but the generator should be outside or in open air, Wait, at really? the very least near a window. I just, I mean, I just figured it was okay. I just, you know. Yeah, you can you can use a generator, but you've got to either vent it out. Or you've got to have it outside and then run the power cables from outside to inside, if you see what I mean. Okay. So if you think about the last time you saw a generator, it was probably outside. I don't know. I just hadn't really, I didn't, I hadn't really thought about it. So that's probably what is uh, is causing some issues. They, they've turned off the generator for now. Okay. Um, they're, doing something, they're going to open all the upstairs windows when they come out. I think some of them are boarded, though, so they couldn't open them. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the best thing you can do at the moment is vent the whole property for at least 24 hours. Keep all the windows and, and doors over those, maybe 12 hours. Obviously, you don't want to leave them open at night, right? But at least okay. vent it out for 12 hours, and then you need to get an alternative source of power, whether it be from the grid or... You can always just put the generator out here, 
and then okay. through one of your half boarded up windows run some run a like a power cable through okay run the source cable because the one that comes off the generator is is uh, weatherproof okay make sense uh, yeah okay so cool. i can't run it inside anymore and no that's pretty much the conclusion oh man i mean you can run it inside but then you'd have to vent the exhaust to outside and even then i wouldn't recommend that because okay. if your if your exhaust hose leaks then bada bing bada boom co poison okay oh man just trying to flip this house man you know it's like my first time doing this you know yeah. um the other thing i would advise is for you to go to hospital and get a blood test Okay. So we need to make sure you've obviously had that run since yesterday. We need to make sure that you haven't inhaled. Um, generally, the only treatment for it is just being in the open air, right? Or and or having and or having some oxygen, high flow oxygen. Okay. But um, yeah. if you're feeling better now, you're out in the in the air and it's been sort of a 24 hour exposure, then your best bet, I would advise you to go to hospital, get a blood test. They can test if there's anything they need to do further. Okay. Or if you're good yeah. just to. You know. Oh god. Okay. You think I? Oh, okay. Yeah. I. All right. I'll go. I mean, yeah. I've been I've been staying in the house. Oh man. I've been I've been in the house since I mean yesterday afternoon. With the generator on the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely advise getting a blood test then. Okay. Yeah. I, all right. Okay. You want me to take you in the ambulance, or you can get someone to take you yourself? It's up to you. It depends which way you want to do it. I can take you to right. Sandy Shores from here. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Okay. Cool. Well, um, you need anything else from him, Deputy? No, that was it. Cool. All right, well, like we said, we've we shut it off. We've opened as many windows as we can. Um, I don't know if anyone else comes here, but obviously make sure you tell them not to run the generator inside. Okay. Um, so if there's anyone else that you're renovating it with, make sure to call them on the way to hospital, right? All right. Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Well, we'll get going then when you're ready. You should need to grab some stuff or? Oh, that's okay. I'm okay. okay. I just, yeah. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man, my head, man. I just... Oh. Just dizzy, man, you know? Even now? I don't know. I'm feeling better. It's just, you know. Yeah, headache. Headache and dizziness is your sort of standard yeah. symptoms for it. Yeah. Yeah. Just take a seat in the back there for me. We'll be there in no time. If you get any worse on the way, just let me know, alright? Alright. So how long have you owned the place? Uh, I mean, I bought it at a, an auction, a foreclosure auction, uh, two months ago, and then we had to get a squatter out, and then there was a whole bunch of permitting stuff, and we just, I just started to work on it yesterday. Gotcha. It's my first flip. I thought it would be fun. Yeah, you just got to make sure you take some precautions with stuff like that. That's... But now you know. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I was wondering why I was vomiting last night. Are you vomiting last night as well? Yeah. Man, that'll be it. Is it making a banging noise? I don't want to use cruise control if it's gonna make your loads of noise.
All right, so you can jump out with him. Okay. Perfect. Just want to come in this one here, and we'll get you booked in. All right. Just over here. All right, if you just want to take a seat here, one of the doctors or uh, or the nurses will come out one of these triage rooms here in a second. I'll get you booked in and let them know what the situation is. All right. All right. All right. Hope you uh, get the place flipped and make some profit on it. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, right. Adam, right? Adam, yeah. I knew. Awesome. Thanks, Adam. All right. No you, know, you know, Adam, Adam, I gotta say, man, you, you're really, you're really helpful, man. I, I don't know if you have kids, but you'd make a great dad. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, um, yeah, you, got, you got it, man. I, I, I don't have, uh, well, yeah. yeah uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No worries, man. Thanks. You got it. Hey. Yeah, it's the one I called about. Um, possible CO poisoning, high levels in the uh, place he's been sleeping and living last 24 hours. Uh, symptoms, vomiting, nausea, um, headache, dizziness. Uh, most recently, difficulty breathing and hallucinations. They were the most recent ones that we ended up being called for about half an hour ago. Uh, his... Oxygen saturations right now are fine, so I haven't given him any oxygen. Um, it's just been transport. Thank you. All right, hope you feel better, so. Thank you, Adam. I can make a great damn cheeky bastard. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh dear. Fucking break up. Oh, <laughs> uh, Hunter, honestly, be the death of me. Right, that is now going to be us. Oh, turn that way, you know. We are going to end it there. I'm going to delete my vehicles. Uh, right. Thank you, everybody. Been a good stream. I enjoyed my Friday night fire EMS. Switching it up a bit. It was very nice. Some great scenes there for some great sieves. Always appreciate that. Uh, thank you again to Careless for the 20 gifted. Um, don't great for the gifted. And Liam for the third month membership. And CJ for Super Chat. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, you called it, Doc. Definitely see you. Couch nugget. See you later. I'm going to bed. Uh, Jock, one from up north, Maple, everyone else is here, Kellis is here earlier, Carlotta, Money, all the usual subjects, all the usual suspects, uh, Bedmanson, Yeti, Finn, Sam, thank you everybody and everybody that I forgot, can't remember what I was going to say, oh well, thanks for being there Jock. Um, and tomorrow night we will be doing civilian slash criminal criminal civilian C civilian criminal you know what I mean all right if you're around I'll see you tomorrow if not bye 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 love you my best friend she pull up then she skirt off and we deal you feel me? No cash on me. Swipe for a million. Yeah, feel me. You feel me? Walk in the door. Shake up the building. Yeah, shake it up. 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 Ooh, yeah. Shake it up. 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 Something to make me stay Round and round forever searching For something that I could never get replaced Don't need you 
mob person I run in dark circles I would love a long life Cause I love how life's worthless I'ma paint purple Cause blue's overrated We all outdated We all so jaded We all lost love Like love's our savior It's a dark place When it's all about the paper Cutting pretty cards Before they deal you something heinous I've been steady Sitting on my sis I'm so contemporaneous In love with my behavior But really I could probably Try and be something greater Good on my favorite You could tell me something different But I probably wouldn't listen No I probably wouldn't listen The word that's the ego Scared is taking over But fuck it if it's fun To run my tongue up On these road fronts But I know I could lose it All if I'm not careful I sound scared Hope you feel that my heart's there though